Reggie, what's up, man? So we got Rico Reckless in the building. What's up? Yeah, right. It was Kush Walk, Gun Smoke, man, in the building, man. All right. That's what's up, bro. So, man. What's going on, man. Full new, full new Christmas around this. Just like they time. Time up, you know? Yeah, you got on your red, man. You got on your red. You look like you in the season. Oh, yeah. You know, the record's really great. Uh, the clothing line, it'll be ready for y'all next year, man. Y'all couldn't get it this year. Y'all just had to see me wearing it this year. But 2024, y'all can order that. We got all type of for y'all. I'll just stay tuned on phone and what it is. I feel it. I feel it. Cool in the hell, too. Y'all right now, if you don't got it, oh, phone and we'll get it. Everybody hate records. Yes, now, you look. now, I want to ask you a couple of questions, man. Since the last time, man, since the the whole situation with the whole fight and everything, yeah. how, did, how did that play out, man? Bro, bro, I thought we was fighting. Why? <laughs> Like, it, it was never no big thing in no way. I thought we was doing it, though, on January 6th. So then, I ain't heard nothing from him or a dude, though. Oh, for real? I ain't heard nothing from him or a dude. Usually, dude ass was keeping it tune, like, yeah, the day, like, yeah, this is going on. This. I ain't heard nothing from him. Yeah, so, whatever. He seemed excited, man. The dude, right? Yeah, I'm excited. Yeah, I think it was fun. Everybody excited. We still excited. But shit, if they don't. All right, look. I don't care. I ain't gonna lie. That was, that was fun. Phone was scared. They ducked their shit. It was what it was. I I put in my effort. I did what I was supposed to do. Yep. I like I did my effort. In my effort. I tried to 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 get phone them together. And I think, man, I think y'all did a, a good job trying. Of, of trying to push the fight and getting everybody interested in it. You know what I'm saying? I like it. I don't even trip about that little petty little backdoor shit that they thought they was gonna do. That was. I'm supposed to do because why wouldn't you look at me like I'd be scared too? I would just okay. So let's talk about it. So the last time that we talked, we were like, You, this was before the King Yellow interview came out that I did, right? What? And and okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. the one where he wore the yellow Lakers jersey, and mm-hmm. you even took a clip of it and posted it on your page and was like, See, I told y'all they was about to backdoor me. Oh, they were trying to end, man. It was bro. <laughs> well, that's so crazy, bro. Go ahead. All right. This all boy, this all bullshit to the side. I swear to God, I can't make this shit up. Are you ready to hear this? Yeah. Since you ready to hear it right now. Yeah. Folks don't do a few smart. I was just bored, man. Entertaining them, man. That's some fucking goofy, man. P R and Dion's, man. One by one. Knock them down with some fucking clowns. Real cornball Jamal, man. It just be it. Sometimes I feel like bad about them, so I like to tweak with them, but that's shit. Hey, that's it. be a lot of clowns that be doing. <laughs> like, as a whole, it be a lot of them niggas, like, Man, that's why niggas be mad, because I don't got nothing to do with that. What the wrong guy? Ewald said, don't not put me with the wrong guy. You with the wrong guy? <laughs> but if you're talking about that shit, nah, I don't like shit like that. I was just, I don't like a lot of that shit. They be doing. Now, the crazy thing. Everybody see it, though. See, that's the difference between me and a lot of people from Chicago and, like, and like or in the world. A lot of people see a lot of the goofy shit, and they just don't say that. They're like, man, they got their own shit going on. Right versus me, I'm going to say something, tweet with your all type of shit, you know? Yeah. But like. <laughs> but oh man, the point I was making was that like King Yellow basically confirmed that he said I don't know what would have happened. No, but I would have told if I would say think about it. I would put up smacking the fuck out people. I would smack his bitch. I would have smack folks and that like they knew the kind of like that's why I'm like damn. They supposed to glad though we have to point them up though on some one shit like because you have to glad for them was like I ain't nobody have to kill nobody. That was the that was the good part that I respect about such a So like even though it almost went there, it didn't go there. Yeah. So what almost happened it didn't. So they got a pass from me. Yeah. I, I was, I, but if I bump into on phone ground, I'm still gonna smack the fuck out of him though. Like say if we just go to a random like airport or some shit, we gotta go get him on or like some group fat. Yeah. In the airport now? Not the airport, you're gonna get banned. Yeah. Nah, nah, I ain't trying to get banned. I still gotta fly shit. Unless we go to the bathroom real quick and get them all real quick, like quick to the bathroom. But like nah, that's why I still see them more fing shit though on game. We gotta get them on or something. Like because just for all the the extra length instead of being a man at the time and doing like his post for wasting my time and my flight and all that shit. Remember that flight out of the bathroom and all that Yeah, shit? you bought it last yeah. year too. Why bitch was high up on you over that scud, run that one flight, man. Uh, fist man, high point, run that shit on front of the I ain't seen you since. Damn, so I ain't seen you that minute, huh? Yeah. Damn, yeah. what you want already? I ain't calling the point, you know, been going, got blue down, all type of shit. I saw that, man. And I straight up, he ate that shit. 
you know we go like six, I was seven. I was going to ask you about that, man. But man, let's actually let's let's segue into that, all man. Right, right. So shortly after all this fight talk, all the back and forth, yeah, and then me, I, the phone nigga was going to computer like, yeah, you see what happened to me? That had nothing to do with being with me. None of that shit. Okay, Scud got his own shit going on. Scud is from North Carolina. He got his own shit going on. Yeah, and that's he, where it happened, right? On there, he be out there bothering people, motherfucker, bother him back. That's all it was. No, this shit goes. This is street. You go tip for tat. You might do something do something to you, but you live mm-hmm. to, to fight another day, like Craig's pop said, right? Okay, to, to, <laughs> to pass out whoopings another day. You know, that's crazy, man. Now, when you heard about your old boy, I'll be goon because he went on no jumper with you, right? Yeah. He called me too from the hospital bed. That's when I put call like, um, what the f wrong with you? you like you fucked up. He ate him with the switch at the gas station. No, I'm damn old. He's some fing goofies. I'm how he Man, he say I was friend of my. Sh-. I'm damn damn nigga. He was with uh Coda, uh get well Coda from the gray uh get well. They hit him up. They hit him up, up in this. Sh-. He in the coma still. He said in the coma. He been in the coma says. Whoa, so the nigga with me. Go got hit in this. Sh-. And then Bigu got hit like six times. Damn, I'm from the gray. Get so get well Coda uh train K A B train on Instagram. Go get well, my boy. You gonna be back? Shake that sh- off, man. Wake up, man. That's a little sh- man. Nigga get shot in day B. Shake that. Sh- Oh, you got this. Can't go full them. Yeah, that's freaking crazy, bro. That they both were in the car together when they got shot up. Yeah, I, and you said that it was somebody with a switch, probably. Yeah, I hit a caught the ass trying to get some drink, put a switch on their dumb ass. Man. That shit go. That mess is. Yeah, it was crazy. It, it always go when you're trying to get drink. Something about trying to get drink, man. God be like, oh, you want to get some drink? I'm gonna grab him. Yeah. So, so for all my drinks, simple man, be careful when you're getting that drink, man. That would be working when you're trying to get that drink. Like, once you get that, you try to get you a little four. Well, watch out for that back dog. <laughs> you try to get you a little six, but I watch out for that switch. God damn. You try to get you an eight and had to dunk that face. That's crazy, man. Yo, man. I'm sad to hear that y'all boy got. got I'm sad, but no, like, he ain't, we ain't trip on this shit. We was laughing. I'm laughing him, like, man, I get that happy. We're in front of my shit. Like, we be laughing right. like that. Not saying we like glorifying anything of that nature. It's just the fact that folks know what type of life he did. Like, you know, like he didn't, they ain't his first time getting shot. You know what I know? So, like, it will come with this shit, though. But it's it's about how you handle the business afterwards. So what you going to do? You're going you gonna to be a man about it. You know what I mean? Like, you're going to stand tall. You're going to duck your shit. You're going to go tell something. You're going to act like you don't know. It's all depends on how you, you know. Yeah, no, nah, I get it. No, nah, I get it, man. See, about that, you know, you're going to get your ass on. It's all about how you feel as a man. One thing I'm learning about life when I'm really learning about life, I'm like, I'm really learning this shit. Like, can't nobody make you do shit. And, like, you don't got to do shit you don't want to do. It's like, niggas just do shit. I don't know why we do shit, but you don't have to do nothing you don't want to do for real, for real. Or, like, the impressive next or please the niggas just be doing shit. So, like, even if he wanted to go get back like, if you want to go get back, all right, back. That's on him. If he didn't want to go get back, that's on him. That don't, I don't give a f- whether you did or didn't. You my nigga. I love you. I'm glad you're still alive type of shit. I don't know about Yeah, no, I know exactly. I can, I can get that brain. I can trick him. Like, man, I ain't finna go slide off the guy. Like, you know what I know? Yeah. I can get on some man. F- that shit, gang. You. So it's like, that, you see how I, yeah. how I can push it either way, too. And the friend, I can control in there, too, too as a friend, but. Hell no, nah, uh, hell no. Nah. One thing I think, man, Cass really got to watch out for is letting the fans control the narrative. Fans don't. Man, you know something crazy I like about these fans? What's that? A lot of they ass don't know for real. They really like fried. They don't know. So, it's like, they just be running their shit. They don't run their shit. And you got to. And, and I'm f***ing friends. Shout out my supporters. I, like, I really love y'all. But the ones that don't like me, man, I just run y'all shit. Because shit, y'all, I'm the realest thing you ever going to bump into in this rap shit, nigga. So, if you don't like me, your man, it's just a. Uh, Goofy, uh, it was like um, uh, film boys or some. Shit. I don't know what, the fuck, but I don't be like, like they just want to tell them a movie. Yes, this right. our real life though, gang. Yeah, that's our real life, but it's but it's your movie. Like even with me, me in this movie, it's like a movie to me too. Like damn, I've been doing movie, me seeing movies. Yeah. Come right now with some movie. You're like what the fuck? Are they like is he making this shit up now? This real life. So to somebody who really don't me involved, this. Get you some popcorn, whatever that. I'm from the you finna be watching this shit like, you saw so and so says this to so and so, then they pulled up and killed so and so, then went and made a song about so and so, now so and so, so and so, and they slide through so and so. Yeah, and they're like, it's like, as a fan, they got like, this shit is low key entertaining, like, 
Yeah, we won't get back to this shit. Yeah, it is. It yeah, is. Yeah, come on, let's come on. Let's make a movie, man. Yeah, we right. we can do that, man. We throw it on too. We on down. Damn, <laughs> too. Hey, okay, we go to the right. Well, we can really make a movie. Hey, I'm to the right. To be honest, man, as yeah, somebody we, as somebody who used to blog and then went this year now did interviews, right? Yeah. And uh, just watching the comments and stuff in the fans, they don't mean any harm, you know? No, they don't. They are really. Watching this, think right, people I'm, people watch YouTube more than they watch the TV. Think about how some niggas told for them to, to, to slap them on. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, they would have really needed to slap them on. They would have been in jail. They just said, "Man, oh, it's goofy as hell." You crashed out. Goofy. So it's not a, it's a double edge. It's yeah. not even a win. Like if you want to do it, do it. If not, not. I know some niggas right now who like they live to kill. Yeah. Some niggas right now that they live to prosper. Yeah. So it's like, so to my prosper friends, keep prospering, my nigga. To my killer friends, I go kill something. Like I guess to do like it's to each his own. Cause now like like cause I ain't seen you since my grandma died either, huh? Man, my grandma died, man. R. P. Bernice, man, and like yeah, f- me up, cause this lady love the f- out of me, gang. Like no, like like this like my grandma because like I ain't never really had no grandma. Like I bet like my grandma always been dead. Like my mama, mama always been dead. I don't know my daddy. Well, I do know him, but I don't, he went in my life, but his mama, though, but big mama, I went out a couple times, so I ain't really had no grandma. So my cousin Chino always had to share his grandma with me. Mm. So, like, his whole life, we had to share his grandma. So I always really appreciate her. Like, like damn, she wasn't true like a grandson. Like, she never looked at me no different. And I was bad. She never looked at me no different than all type of And, like, right before, like, right, like, right before she died, and, like, she the one that told me to drop that. Man, look, my grandma died, gang. She told me to drop that cool in the NL too, like that song, because she had okay. a cool sound. I dropped that CD when I grandma died. That one, number six in the world. I seen that one on Sandy on Billboard. So, like, damn, grandma, you walked there for the streams or something. But, like, that me up. But it also made me look at, like, it kind of, like, not saying this, like, made me look at funny. It made me be like, man, these niggas are here for no Man, it really is waiting for me on that. Like, 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 shout my homie named Wayne, man. I got a homie named Wayne, man. That's from Baltimore, man. But, like, he, like, he put it on me too. Like, man, like, what you So, like, when my grandma died, the niggas really not being on shit in my whole life, being on something, and niggas not on nothing. It's like, man, damn, niggas ain't no shit right now. Period. Yeah. And to be real, man, I see everything that you post, man. So, I, you try to like everything that you post too, you know what I mean? Yeah. So, like, when you post, when you were posting about your, your grandma, you were posting about your, um, about your uncle. I, I want to say not your uncle, for real. What? Yeah, my, my, what? Nigga, my nigga, 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 like, this is my best friend. We, we, he's also, like, my mentor, like, my uncle, but this was, like, a nigga I hung with every day. Yeah. yeah that nigga died, man. I'm like, dang, man, he was like, boy, my own boy. He died, gang. And changed my life, but that nigga died. You know what he really taught me, though? He really just one day, he just told me that, like, I could stand alone and raise my family. When I met him, I ain't had no confidence, not no confidence, really not no, no faith. Then I was going to get out sitting in the fifth corner. I was going to jail, and I get out. I'm going to get out and boot bed. I got another one. He went to, like, man, kill a studio, Rico. So, like, to watch him, like, do it. And like it really like changed the way I like, like now it's like this. I bet. Let me break this down in the best way. If one from my uh, he my uncle changed my whole demographic of where I was going in life. If I wouldn't have met him, I would have. I was for sure going back to prison a hundred times for sure, get killed or or anything like being recorded trying to game. But he showed me how to boss up and be a man, and take care of my family. Like, get some money, like, do different things, like, try to really chase my dream, like, and understand that it's gonna take this, even with investing. I didn't, he had a restaurant, he had all types of going on. So, like, he was just showing me different things. So, it was like, when I, I mean, sometimes, like, hey, I had to start by smoking weed until nobody stopped smoking. Yeah, so I, I remember, man. So, sometimes I'd be high smoking, I'd be in my head, like, damn, that nigga really changed my life. Like, he said one day, like, one day, you're not gonna need a gun. Man, I always need a gun. I'm from the grave. I would not be needing a, a, a pipe sometimes. And I in my head, like, my uncle always says on days like this. Like, you know what I Yeah, nah, that's true. Because, I mean, only like, I want to say a great man. And you said, you said, uh, well, did you ever. Johnny Troopers. Yeah, and did you ever talk about what happened or you don't want to talk about it? I, so, and you know I me, mean? I'm going to tell you, like, the real, like, you know, I ain't even going from move like this shit. That was 38. I'm like, man, this shit never got, this shit never got said on camera. You finna get some, some, this is like finna be like some Eminem cleaning up my closet, skeleton shit right here, cause they don't even know this. I'm not finna say, 
And then, then it's gonna make them crash. And then I don't want them to cry on camera. And then if I ain't crying on camera, then they gonna use it as a meme. And you want to talk about it in the end, so you don't. And you're like, I ain't even know because they need the real, like they need the, they need like the like the real from me. Well, separate me from a lot of niggas is like, lot of niggas like to hide and not tell the truth or like make it seem like something. I'm not gonna make it seem like nothing. I'm, I'm coming from poor, being f-ed up to not like really f-ed up, like to being able to really handle, take care of my family off of nothing, off of music, off of all that shit. So like, I'm blessed. And this man changed the whole dynamic of that. Man, bro. That was my nigga, bro. I swear to God, bro. This is my nigga, bro. And then came get me from jail and put me in the studio every day with a zip of weed, lean, pills, whatever. Whatever I need, nigga, video shoots, nigga. Or if I need clothes to the video shoot, nigga, and nigga, if the camera ain't get paid or whatever, he was 100% supporting me. But he never gave me money up in my hand because it wasn't that type of relationship. It was more like, I'm just supporting you, but I ain't still got to handle your own business as a man. So I, don't, so like I was busting my own moves and shit, but he really had my back, though. My cousin, he was always used to lie. I mean, I'm not going to lie, but he used to be so high sometimes. And like, I obviously think he lying because he'd be like, man, this nigga not real. This nigga like an angel. Like, he not here for real. He sent from God to help you, and then he going to disappear. I mean, I know. You know, I ain't front your shit. You just had to talk about whatever, though. Man, bro. Man, bro. I love, bro. Man, I was... Him dying was slow down my music career. Not really slow down, but made me just stop rapping. When he died, I was at, like, a very, like... I was, like, at, like, a high point in my career. Mm-hmm. Like, literally, like, I was, like... Like... And to the point, I didn't know how big of an impact I was causing or I didn't know how much I was really doing. I didn't even really know I was really on nothing for real until I sit back like, damn, I was damn. Like, you know what I don't? Yeah. Um, damn, man. That's my this. All right, look. Bang. So my uncle wasn't my manager at the time. Bang, I was taking off. Mm-hmm. We needed some help. Just what it was. He was doing a good-ass job. I swear to God, a good-ass job. But he kept saying like, man, I wish we could, do, we could do this. We only had so many resources coming from, he from Indiana, we from Chicago, a green dude, a black dude, and I keep him getting locked up for random guns and all type of shit. I keep doing bad shit and I keep him locked up. His favorite line was, you spend more money for your bonds than you did your career. You know, you put all this money in your career, as we did your bonds, nigga, your ass will be up there with two chains. It's <laughs> cracking jokes about this shit. So we need some help, man. So we had to go get this nigga, man. Uh, so we need some help, man. All right, man. It was this nigga named Lil Less. Uh, he was like a Chicago rapper. He was just all saying he had a manager named Chicago King Dave. I used to always like, fuck, like bump J, little less music. I thought, so, I'm, so like, we need help with a manager. I'm like, man, I'm little less had a manager named Dave. I remember one time Dave last had to find out for like 25k. I mean, that, a day when he got him, so they, so he understand what come with this street. That's why I went to him. Mm-hmm. He understand what come with this street. Yeah. So I reached out to him. I said, man, man, he. Yeah. Well, I'm glad to come help y'all. I want to be, I'm just like, look, I just need you to be a co-manager to help my uncle. My uncle, he's from Indiana. He don't really know shit about Chicago. I, I need somebody from Chicago that knows what's going on to be on point with him. Because mm-hmm. he's very on point business-wise, and he's very street-savvy up to this point. That is somebody else who's very business-wise, street-savvy, to come together to be like a team. Mm-hmm. Y'all just be behind me and we just go. Because I know what I got to do. I just need to see the right back. It wasn't even about the money. We had to finance and just the right back as far as in we need other brain and knowledge. We need somebody else that knew other. You know what I know? Like, yes, I understand. And the majors do that same exact thing. That's what they do, for real. Yeah. So, uh-huh. so that's what I was trying to do. My uncle met Dave. He answered like, dude. I'm like, what, what you mean, dude? Like, what you mean? We didn't, nah, we didn't went out, we sat down, I thought, and it was cool at first. My uncle, like, I right, bet we're going to test it out. The uncle was like, I'm doing that for the. I'm like, what you mean? Like, man, he ain't right, Rico. He ain't right. He said, through greedy. I thought, man, I'm saying, like, I thought it was cool. I thought she like, look, hey, like, I just ain't even. He's like, man, look, right now, I ain't gonna lie. This is the was crazy. That's for the God. A lot of people don't know what I'm gonna say. This shit was crazy. I'm like, man, look, peep this. You really doing what you're supposed to do. That's you really on point right now. You on point. You getting money. You handle your minutes. I, I, I did my job. I'm finna fall back. Because now you got him. You good. You don't need me. And he was not saying it in a disrespectful way, but it, it, he kind of was. So I'm like, hell, I ain't gonna pick a dude over you. You know, I know. But at the same time, like, what you, so you don't want me to, like, he not go do, do, I dream. So I thought, for Dave, I met, man. So like, maybe like four, 
five months. Been my uncle didn't talk. And I don't mind. This nigga I mean, I've been with every day for a whole year. No, no, no. So we didn't talk for like four months. Not like four or five months. Shit. All this time one day, and try to steal a bread. Steal my day. I stole my bread. I stole my drawers. All time. Everything my uncle didn't say he going to do this. So your uncle saw him come. My uncle saw him come. Yeah. I was just naive. I just wanted, I just wanted to so help so we could. Because we was already at a ninth level. And everybody, it was to the point, you know what it was? This me being honest. Everybody, I had made the diss song. Everybody was like, oh, so everybody gonna kill you. Everybody gonna kill you. So it was like, and I was in Chicago. I wasn't in Indiana. I don't know. Like, at first, I lived in Indiana for one second because I had house arrest out there. Mm-hmm. But when I got off house arrest, I moved back to Chicago. So everybody kept saying, I'm gonna kill you. I'm gonna kill you. So when my uncle comes to Chicago, he's from Indiana. He don't know a lot about what's going on. So I'm like, man, he needs somebody else from Chicago or else. He can know that I got serious. He was like, cause he had come with like 10 guns and a bulletproof vest. I mean, look, that's all cool and all, but you need to understand what's going on, uh, why you're bringing this. Don't wind up yeah. before you just, don't wind up yeah. like, it's like, like that. So I said, sound like he was ready to meet though. Well, he was, oh, but he, he had very bad anxiety. So when I, own, so when he had come kick with me in Chicago, or we go handle it because my student was in Chicago. So when I come recording our type of shit, by the time we leave, he done pop 10 minutes and 10, can, uh, what's them pill, uh, what's them pill that you popping, uh, and all type of, He's right. popping all type of shit because he a Greek man dating that's rich. So he deal with his depression, his emotions, and shit different. Yeah. You know I know? Yeah. So he, this is my dog. I love him though, but he's like, man, you give me anxiety. We go, like, like to the point, it, if we can meet up in Indiana and don't got to go to Chicago, he'd be like, man, we'll get, why we got to go there? We can, like, you want to you know, so just get it all brought here because it's not far. It's like 20 minutes, 30 minutes. Okay. But it's a big difference. We in Highland, Indiana, like white as fuck. Now we have on seventy fifth a store in the trenches. It's trenched out, so it's like, well, he, he it's too much for him. So mm-hmm. I just wanted to bring somebody and help him. For like when it went to, he didn't want to do I, but we gotta go through this I, but where you go with other one though. Yeah, but whatever though. So long story short, I ended up catching the case and shit. when uh they were trying to say that phone uh told on me that when was that twenty seven twenty seventeen? Yeah, I called the pipe case. Over. So I'm being uh, I'm on baby day. We don't know the we'll pipe case for baby day. I go well, outside. At the time, that's when I was in tour with like being there black and like yellow, them all type of shit. Kept going loud. They kept trying to put 12 on me. That's what like people used to be saying. I mean, I ain't trying to put. So I'm there, well, 75th right now, 12, them, right? Smack that. Oh, no. So I get locked up. My bond was 12,000 for it. Was, it was 125,000. 10 plus pay, 10 percent is 12,000 for it. Nobody want to come get me out of jail. That's shit. I'm full of. I'm going to my uncle go and get me out of jail. Man, you only talk. You're not even talking. I ain't talked to him in four months. And he didn't went off the face of the earth. You know what I know? I ain't heard from him. But we not beefing. It ain't no problem or nothing like that. It's just, we just, they ain't talk. Like, he felt, like, how he felt, from like, how I felt. But it was like, but we, but it was an amicable split. We wasn't, I wasn't saying, no days, no bad blood, right? Which is, we just, we just been on each other every day for a year. We did a lot within this year. We just needed that love. He probably want to do shit. I probably want to do just the, you know? Yeah. Man. I when I end up getting myself out of jail, man, I'm from the grave, man. Shout out my mixtape, man. I'm from the grave. I, 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 the fucking photo had me from the grave. So I couldn't get up out of jail and shit. My uncle, he called me up. He asked to call me, come to my Instagram. Like, nigga, you was gonna be in jail for another week, nigga. On oh, everything I love, I, I was coming to get you. Oh. I swear to God. I'm okay. Like, and I was like, yeah, my nigga. Like, he was coming to get me. He, why, nigga? No, I love you, nigga. Be eight. Look, bro, I just saw what happened. And sometimes you gotta let them bump their head. I love you. I know you love me, man. Let's fix whatever problem you had. I say, damn, this is God. Man, they come out for a circle, man. Man, this was like around the time where like, man, now I'm only getting a mega at this time. So he like, look, so this is how we're finna do this right here. Um, he like, I'm finna sell my restaurant. He like, I'm finna sell my restaurant. Man, he like, I think I can like, I think I'm giving like 450 or 500,000 for his restaurant. He had like a, uh, like a gyro, a big, like one of the biggest guy, gyro restaurants. Um, in, uh, East Chicago called, uh, Columbus Drive Garros. So, like, he was really like, no time no idiot. Who was good? So, he like, I'm selling my restaurant, nigga. I'm gonna invest all the money back into this Rico Regis record, nigga. Nigga, now we're gonna be really, now nah, it's gonna be a crazy run. We're gonna do it big all the time. Of shit. So, I'm like, damn, like, yeah, like, like, ah, yeah, it's busting out, but the same time, I'm like, this though. And this time, you the same nigga that one who came pick me up, mind me out of jail. They low key saying, well, I now I'm really like getting, ooh, making money now. Like, I'm making money now. So I'm like, what, nigga? Like, low key, I don't even need you to do all that. You used to sell your restaurant, nigga. You don't got a restaurant money to me, nigga. I got money off the ground. We can just do it as a team effort. Like, well, like if I can do something, you can do something. Come on, though. Yeah. Let's make a team because you raised me how to be a man. All the man. 
Now we lock back in. I'm talking about lock back in to the point. And I'm going to Cali and shit. I know that his ass, his ass still trapping this shit too. So he wants some bowls for the lower shit. I, I'm not going to figure God more about that. I know like he like, it was like this old lady in Cali and shit. She had the bowls and shit. But they like the same age. I knew they was going to like each other and shit. So I put them together to take a date and shit. So they went out a couple times and shit. And they liked each other too, but they was, it was a mini relationship too. Yeah. So uh, she had them both. Trying to get the for like, man, this is going to be crazy to say it like this, but I got to say it so it can get said out there about the man. But I right, man, man, she was trying to tax me. This is back in the day too, like 2017, but it was like 1500 two bucks or some shit. He was trying to get like 30 and I'm back. like a band of peace. Give her like 30 ball and get 30 bucks. She didn't want to go. We didn't talk that out. She find us so talking go. to him, man. Like, the shout out nigga, uh, Joey Hopscrops too, man. Hops. Joey Rocks and shout out Hopscrops, shout out all of them. Uh, shout out Wayne Blaze, just all my friends from my uncle. But, uh, um, the man, like, he went up in bowls and shit. And called, we gonna get the bowls. He called me one day, like, we gonna get the bowls tomorrow. I come out there with the 30 or just give the money, grab the bowls and shit from me. And I'm, I'm, yeah, I bet. It's a go. I bet. The next day, Call me like man, man, man. Uh, um. Now I'm gonna say the name today. This is I said if this was on a Tuesday, probably like a Thursday, so two days later. Mm -hmm. I talked to her one day, but the next day I wake up, I had two phones. So one phone, I checked one phone, and I checked the other phone. So I checked mm -hmm. one phone, cause he was supposed to, that Tuesday he said he was coming. So I knew he was going to be here by Thursday. I don't want to know if he yeah. coming, coming. So he was coming to meet you out in California? Yeah, he was coming okay. to meet me in Cali with the 30 bucks so we can get the 30 pounds to send you back to Indiana. I don't want to know. Like, yep. That was his lane, but he was smoking. He wasn't he was smoking. Yeah, he was yeah. It. He was smoking. Right? Personal use. I yeah, got personal you. use. Yeah. Anyway, I go. Thursday call. Folks call like, man, you talk to Unc. I'm not a lie. He, man. Oh, um, man, what? And man, they just went up in his crib because he wasn't answering the phone. He wasn't answering the door. Man, he was just dead on his couch with 30 grand up on his lap. Just dead. I don't know. Like, what do you mean dead? Like, somebody killed him. The one he know. Like, he just dead. So I'm, what the fuck? So now he fucked me up because that was, he was coming to me. You know what I do? Like, yeah. he was coming to me. That's why I saw him. That's why he had the 30,000, right? I had, like, man, I, man, I got, man, I was up gang I ain't gonna lie I just lost my shit like cause it was like everything was coming back full circle like that nigga was involved in my kids like like my kids loved him he loved my kids nigga so like I fucked me up like I'm talking about I was out doing hella drugs lean kills weed did you ever find out what happened to him yeah um just what the fuck they said I don't know but if you ain't me though he just died from being bored man Nigga did everything you could think you wanted to do. And you got me to a point where, like, this magic, his biggest goal was to get me famous. Like, get me, like, to a point where I can handle many and do something on my own. And he did that. He, he, was all the you could think of, he then winding down, did all type of shit, rollies and bands, all type of shit. He then took care of his family, bought his mama this, bought his daddy that. They, he did everything you wanted to do. He then did everything. He, he, I feel like he just, he was bored. He, like, he, I he did that thing. I bet. Let me go up there and uh, pull some strings from up there, you know? Yeah. yeah. So, like, man, that's it. I went to the stream, though. Me and my son, though. I sat in the front row. I sat closer than anybody. I sat, nigga, his family sat behind me because that's how close we was. Like, yeah. I, his family, like, he was telling me, like, man, they don't even like me. They think I'm an outsider because I like rap music and I be you all smoking weed and all type of shit. But, like, nigga, so, like, I know, like, just certain. So I said, like, like how close we is, that's where his casket was, nigga. I'm right there, me and my son, and they crying. I put the picture on Instagram. That like, me up, though, but I was glad that we got to fix us before he died, though. A lot of people don't even know that we got into it. A lot of people don't even know, like, yeah, we ain't getting to it, but a lot of people don't know how, black people don't know how Dave got in the mix. So I know, and Dave gonna lie, he gonna swear with a hundred lies, swear that he ain't want the man, but, and it's not to shame him, shout out him. Like, I hope he doing well. I don't know, I know, I'm just mm -hmm. hell out with what happened, though. Wow, that's crazy, man. Hey, and then something about this, though. I'm dropping videos every week, mixtapes every one damn night. Prior to this, I man, after that, I ain't dropped for like a year. So uh, my friends, like, what's going Like, what? What you want? Like, you act like you made it already. I'm like, f this. Like, the only person who was really happy off this, like, the last video that my uncle saw we make was pay her. That was his. 
And nigga, when I made pay her, I called him like, hey, look at this video I just made with these boys because I always make you shoot on my baby. Man. So I wasn't making no songs for the boys. This song had straight about me trying to pay her. She said, I don't got to pay her. So the video got hold my son. The video, man, my son, I thought it was the imaginary ever saw of me. Like, yeah, she finally did it. Like, he's like, the end with that. Uh, hello, he was, he, he did it. Say, like, I can die and be happy now. Like, because he, like, because I changed, like, oh, that's my nigga, bro. Like, that man was a great man. That man was a great man. I ain't had no father. Yeah, and certainly, like, he was like, an angel on your shoulder, man. A best friend. We used to call him Concietti. You know what Concietti means? No, so what is it? Yeah, I guess it was, it was a, a Greek or Italian term for like somebody who was just like an advisor. Oh, so I asked. Yeah, I Andy, like, hey, you think I should go to uh, Vegas and smack the And he had tell me the, what he, the good part, the bad part, and what I want to hear. Yeah, I think in yeah. Italian, they call it a, a or something like yeah. that too, right? Concierge. Yeah, there you go. There you go. Yeah. Uh, okay. So like, yeah, that was that was my bro, that was my nigga. So like, that's the only nigga, and I didn't lost friends. R. I. P. Bay Bay, like, I didn't lost cousins. I didn't lost R. I. P. Motherfucker, R. I. P. A lot of motherfuckers. Like I can say and say a lot of R. I. P.s, but that's the only nigga that make me crown. I think about him. So them just like that was for me. Like, and that nigga was put up for me. That nigga changed. That nigga told me this. He's even telling me like that nigga used to be like. You ever seen the movie Rocky? He used to be act like he was. And coach, like you're great, Rico. You're strong, Rico. Nobody <laughs> put you, Rico. You rap the best, Rico. <laughs> but he's just be like, like this. I'm motivation, like every day, like pull up, come on, simple weed right there. Where, where we going to the studio? At the point, I can be sleeping. I keep the outside music playing. He list the same shit. payroll, Giovanni. He only put this was payroll, Giovanni, Wifey, and Lucci, or me, nigga, on the gray, nigga. And so like, uh, and then he, I put on somebody else before, uh, Rick Jilla, uh, new, new one thing named Rick Jilla. That sounds for me. Back in the day from Indiana. That sounds for me. Rick Jill, on okay. game, Rick Jill from Indiana back in the day. So he was, man, my uncle was a great man. Sounds like it, bro. I love that nigga, bro. Like, uh, my son, right now to this day, still be like, you remember my uncle? To the point, my son, he started asking me for that bankroll and fold it. He taught my son how to fold it. My son fold money better than me to this day. I just, <laughs> he taught him, I can't even, the fuck that my that back. <laughs> That's not, nah, that nigga was raw, gang. And that's, and that's also like, and shout out my nigga Cron Deezy, though, because I end up meeting an Italian guy named, uh, Chronic. And what we are is talking about the Italians and the Greeks a lot. So what's crazy is when I was to my lowest, I ended up meeting this Italian guy named Cron. And Cron, like, we just saw, you know, 12, you know, my uncle and dad and went to his body, cause he just like, continued what I left off at. Like, man, like, it was like, save my head, and then I come in, like, come on, let's get to it, Rico. Green, you strong. Oh, damn. Yeah, and me and, and Kron got up the f in. Like, Kron, that's another great man. Hey, Kron said a lot. He just had a son. Him and his wife, Melissa, they stay like f out the way, but he a great man too. And like, so like, my friend list, it's not just the average any black niggas with dreads. I know that. White niggas, Greek niggas, Italian niggas. I f with niggas that jeer from the heart, vice versa of um, what you got and what status you is. Because I'm gonna yeah. if your ass was the president, if your ass was a bitch, your ass a bitch. But I'm gonna West was a homeless man. If you put solid and genuine, then you're gonna be that homeless no more, cause we're gonna figure this shit out. <laughs> that's dope. For real, for real. Nah, that's dope. Nah, that's dope. That's freaking crazy, man. Hey, and, and I didn't know him. Man, it just wasn't like a family friend or somebody I knew my whole life. I mean, this was me in my jail cell praying to God. Like, God is where somebody just believe in me in my rap dream and just can invest in me a little bit and I'll show them what. And then, but then my mom, my mom was $10,000 or some shit. Probably had like $3,000, like $3,000, $4,500. I needed one to come spend the rest to come get me out of $8,000, that's $8,500. Nobody was coming to get me out of jail. So just imagine me saying a prayer one day. Then you know, next day I see my homie in jail. He like, hey, my homie in the phone say his ass know you. Put him on the phone with my homie Joy Rocks. Joy Rocks, oh, what's, what's up, Joy Rocks? Joy Rocks is my nigga, though. Joy Rocks got songs with Fredo, Santana, all type of shit. Like, mm. That's how I know Joy Rocks from, from a, a video him and Fredo, Santana got. And so I'm like, that's Joy Rocks. Joy Rocks, what's up, my nigga? What the man? He man, what you want? Where are you? You in jail? Up in Indiana? Because Indiana hits it. He man, what, what's going on, man? My boy. Like, like, like $8,000 when anybody come to get me. He like, man. He like, bro, I swear to God, if I show my homie your music, he'll come find you out because you raw. Um, for real, show them my music there right now. I swear to God, he showed them. And then they came and got me the next day, nigga. That's crazy. The next day. Like, after that prayer, after that conversation, I was out in jail the next day, nigga. That's crazy. 
can tell him about. Nah, that's what's up, man. It's not like you were blessed to have it, have it, have him in your life. You know what I'm saying? It's gonna be a killer movie. Yeah, it, it will be someday. Yeah. We we might have to put it in there, dog. You know what I'm saying? Check it out, killer movie, gang. All right, man. So we talked about your uncle, man, which is a great story. That was a very good story. I ain't never talked about him until I I hadn't heard you talk about it either. Yeah, and that nigga was great, man. So it feels kind of weird to get into what's going on in Chicago rap now. You know what I'm saying? Like, I'm not. You know what? Because he, cause he up there laughing at this. The first boy, thing I was going to say, man, it. is seems like there's a lot of snitching allegations going on in Chicago rap right now. The drill rap culture, man. You've got a lot of people getting called out. And some by legitimate sources, man. So recently, you've had people call out Old Block Lil Day. You had another guy by the name of Trenches News. And we'll talk about these separately. But even Cass and I have talked to, we've talked to, like, King Yella got called out by 1090J. And it's crazy, man. So first off, what do you think about the Old Block Lil Dave situation, man? I don't know. I don't know. I don't be, I don't be knowing what's going on with the old. Oh, yeah, so... This would be my homework on the research so I can get a good report card. So what the So there's a cat. He's from Old Block. His name is Lil Dave. Yeah. The Chicago Sun Times did a story on him because of the FBG Duck Rico case. Yeah. He oh, got nothing to do with that duck case. Yeah. He, he talking about FBG Duck and Rico. Oh no. Nah. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, no. <laughs> he was he was uh well Lil Dave. And this is the news story. This is a, from Chicago Sun Times news story. Yeah, he has been an informant since 2018, according to an FBI's testimony. Man, all niggas do that though. You what? ain't never seen a movie. Uh, in too deep. Yeah, I seen in too deep a lot. You know, get that Jay Reed. That's why I don't hang with. That's why. That's why you just can't hang with niggas. Right. Like niggas hang with niggas off because they look cool. Like niggas see a nigga like you got dreads like me. You got on mirrors like me. I just hang with this nigga, but you ain't never battle test this nigga. Yeah. You don't know if he thrill. You don't know if he gonna toss if his niggas pull up and it's time to throw. You don't know if he respectable when the hoes come enough so we can f the hoes the first night or a goofy world where well, now you fuck up everybody. <laughs> you don't know if he look out for his mama. You don't know if he take care of his kids. You don't know if he look out for his niggas in jail, man. Before y'all stop with these niggas, make sure that they battle test him, man. Make sure these niggas meet the and criteria, man, like, 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 no, no man, like an application, like, like a bitch looking for a nigga, you gotta then that be like, do you meet to, cause niggas be walk as hell, a whole pint of that shit, yeah. and then get your ass. Cook, <laughs> clutch you upside your shit, boy, like, hell nah, and then it's bad, cause like, it's a informant, like, you can probably tote nigga all type of like, yeah, oh, well, they got, yeah, like niggas lose, so niggas get that, and niggas highs here. Yeah, you know, they keep saying, RP, for no, I nailed this dumb ass. Now, nah, forget the RP. It's just, oh, now, nah, it's <laughs> like, what? Yo, ass is dumb. You just, you just fun as your shit. Now, FBI agent testified on the stand and said, an FBI agent testified on the stand and said that they got him, this is how cold they are, while he was in jail. So he was in jail. Like, oh, that's, and they, the, that's the why? If we, they, are you in jail? All you gotta do is offer a nigga a little freedom, a, a lot of salt, a mother cheeseburger, a mother. And no, 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 no. Say you got some pot bass chicken. What? You can say I gotta tag me from that. <laughs> going, everybody going down. And I know real niggas, but a lot of these niggas that just couldn't. I niggas couldn't. A lot of these niggas, bro. You know what I mean? You can't, you can't stand that. He you know what's fucking you up right now. You can't tell nowadays. Back in the day, you could tell, like, man, that's a stupid bitch, and man, that's gonna tell. Nowadays, you be like, the niggas that be the toughest, hardcores, talking the shit, pointing the finger at the next nigga, and you doing it. Yeah, yeah, 100%. Yeah, so it's like, you don't know nowadays. It's, like, it's just like the niggas that's low key down low and shit. Like, and, like, you don't know, cause now it's like, nigga, man, they have dirty as hell. Whole time, you trying to suck his That's why I'm always. I'm always I mean, weary. I'm, I'm always weary. Now I'm always weary of somebody's like overly. Hey man, he he's big. Or he's that one because like why why you care, dog? Like I I wouldn't care. You know what I'm saying? Like this thing. I like me and my got this thing. We got this thing. Where like somebody post something on Instagram, they be them doing that. So like for instance, nigga be like, I I swear to God, I can make that. So I nigga make a post. He like man. Is niggas wearing all this fake ass design and all this fake ass Jake. 
I'm me and my girl like, man, you wear a fake ass yeah. designer and Jay. Yeah. We on this page, all fake J, all fake designer. Yeah. Yeah. Well, like, which make making post. These out here spent for forty dollars. I could never. All the time she spent it for forty, talking about she could never. You were already doing it, oh boy, no. I've said this before. Like, Rick like, reckless, you smarter than most. So people be like, try to like, it's like, I guess it's like a defense mechanism or how they try to portray, like you were saying, you were trying to portray somebody else off you, like a fucking, like a, uh, what, what's that shit? Projector. Yeah. You're trying to project so how you feel off to another right. because in this shit, we didn't use her because you really say, if you're tell us, he say, like, people do shit like that. Yeah. So, so it's like, Oh. Now, nah, and this goes perfectly with the story of old black little Dave because he was people were already had caught on to some things that he was doing in jail or whatever. Yeah. And about when the FBG duck situation happened, and I'm definitely not putting you in that in any way. Yeah. When that happened, people already had rumors that yo, little Dave might be an informant. You know what I'm saying? He might be a snitch. His defense was always, "How am I telling? I was in jail when all this went on." Come to find out, the FBI agent came out and told on him that he was telling. You know what I'm saying? And that's according to the to the. There's an FBI agent on the stand. He can't lie. You know what I'm saying? He'll lose his job if he get, gets on the stand and lies like that. You know what I'm saying? Somewhere I just had, I just had to stop myself from saying some wild ass. Man, I was gonna say some wild ass. Oh, Chino, for you see this dude for them be like you as fried. I finna say that's how I look at about the on this play. I'm gonna joke. You imagine all that between ducks, dog, RP, everybody else, bro. But yeah, I'm so tired of hearing it, bro. They ain't let that shit go, bro. Like, damn, bro, niggas die all the time, bro. Why they act like it's so important? Like, I know why, because the weather was at, and I, but man, they ain't been gone, not. If it is, not gone, man. That's hell of shit going on, man. They finna fuck around, bring Corona back, man. Y'all stay talking about this luck trial, bro. Yeah. Fuck, do y'all know that ones used to be two pairs for $90? Like, what the fuck is America doing, man? Bring them back. What the fuck? About that stimulus, man. It's hella other shit going on. I am not. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And, 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 and what's crazy is, it does seem like, man, we, we're almost at the point where we're exhausted of snitch talk and gay it, talk and stuff. It, it's a little boy. Like, it's a lot. A nigga that went to prison three times. Y'all just, the world is just not seeing certain that been going on. Yeah. If that makes some sense. All this technology is putting light on shit. That been going on. Niggas been snitching. Niggas been hanging with you just so they can tell. Niggas, niggas are paying attention to the little shit niggas do. Niggas, you will be with your, nigga, you will be with your nigga, or you will go be with your, with your own boy. I right, bet. And then you will go cheat with some, you know, and then sign how your saying up finding out. Yeah, the only nigga I know about it is, is your own boy. So it's like, you, you ain't put that two together, like, how the fuck see? Because niggas been doing little shit. So like with a lot of this street shit, back in the day when this much technology, niggas was thugging in peace, man. Nigga kill you in peace. Man, back in the day, in the eighties, nineties, man, niggas can blow your ass down. Yeah, fucking raw all type of shit. When I like like not <laughs> that was wasn't crazy rap. Yeah, it's a lot. It's yeah, like, I did. And I'll tell that. But I'm saying, like, just it wasn't on camera. Back then, you could have been easy E. Nobody would have knew. Yeah. Nine days. It girl came over here with that yeah. bow in hell trying to give me that shit. Yeah. Man, like, it's like it's it's different. Now I'm gonna go cameras now. You wanna then uh nigga one now I'm Hey, go post their pants the blood on there like man, I ain't gonna say where this came from. Like bro, all right. Yeah. The world so like the world's so goofy now and everybody wants that clink man, everybody wants that attention, like everyone wants that fake frame. Then they're buying blue checks for fifteen dollars. Yeah. They're, everybody wants that fake flat that look. Uh, yeah, look, look at me. Vice versa, back in the day, you had to stand up out at one on the internet, man. There's a million people in the world, man. What the f make us look at you, TLC? What the f make us look at you, NWA? What the f make us look at you, LL Cool J? Like, we got to be cool and get in the, the spots. Nowadays, niggas just act weird for fake. Niggas just snitch because they get paid for it. Because it's, you can do it all. Like, it's, man, bro. It's a weird time. This world is crazy. And it's going to be a new year. Y'all lucky this motherfucker. As soon as the clock strike 12, this don't just burn up and turn to the last mall and disappear. Like, it's all type of I saw a nigga trying to build a house underground. 
Like y'all ain't paying attention to what's going on. That nigga trying to bow. I'm not. You know, I, I saw you talking about you talking about me. Yeah. Bills posted yeah. about Mark. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, boy, pay attention for real. Niggas ain't just doing. Shit. Niggas got insights, boy. Niggas ain't trying to. That was a little alarming because, like, what do you know that I don't know? He ain't you know, know shit. He rich as. Yeah, you know there. all. Watch your shit. That he. Man, you know about them new uh, cars that's gonna come out. Yeah, the bitch gonna have two tires. You're only gonna need the back two. Like he know about. No, I'm just saying. Like, yeah, nah, like, nah. like, like, just, just like Lil D. He know about the new Debbie case. He know right now new guns that shoot themselves. He know who finna be the president and told that billions of dollars, man. But I don't. I just think, man, that shit. It's just coming out because of the technology. But a lot of these niggas, bro, it been going down, bro. Niggas been like. Especially like when niggas get up in the jam, niggas get up in the jam, and boy, it ain't ain't nobody around, ain't no cameras around. And niggas, man, look, what I gotta do to get out, man? Like, what I gotta just like some videos y'all see, and that's what niggas are saying. What you saying? Niggas just trying to go home, man. Yeah. Like, nigga, uh, you don't see this footage, so nigga, go to nigga don't know, nigga was trying to do this to so go to jail, come home, act like he's a real nigga. All the time, you just they just ain't taking. Yeah, yeah, nah, and I think that's one of the positives that came out of all that jail footage coming out, you know? Yeah, Even though somebody did post a jail video. Right, I looked at my video, though. My video proved my fact that niggas not fucking with me. Why wouldn't you wait for me to walk in here to fight me for real? Like, it just proved, it just proved what I be saying. So now, sometimes, like, you gotta think, I respect what happened with me, whether it's good and bad, because I didn't live a uh, hell of a life, a good life. So, like, a lot of this sometimes nobody wanted to sit there like, I'm a real nigga, I'm a real nigga, I'm a real nigga. Then you got to see it in my actions. Even if you thought I was a nigga all this time, just sitting back and smoke like, damn, folks was the first to do this. Or folks really did that. Or why they had to do that? Or why they couldn't do that? Like, that didn't make a little time Yeah, no, I ain't what you're saying. Yeah, exactly. I respect a lot of that shit, man. I just, Chicago right now, though, yeah, I kind of funny. I, yeah, I did it for maybe, maybe it's a TV show we don't know about going on. Here's a question, though. Do you think it's odd, though, for somebody to be like, pretend, like, and I'm referencing the whole little Dave thing, saying that, yo, I'm not a snitch. I'm not a snitch. And then you get called out by the Chicago side. Like, yeah, it was me. <laughs> I told him. I told him. Yeah, like, yeah, yeah, it was right. He, he was that giving up real information. Like, he told a rotter man. He told a rotter. He ain't told an old man. Cool. He was talking. He was like giving, like, gang meeting information. The niggas talk, he talked about a little dirt. I, I didn't think niggas be getting it. That's why, like, did we ever talk about the, uh, the, the 2020? The, uh, the, the 2020? Like what I, wait, what did I say we was? Wait, what did I said? Why I break it down to you? What time I see it? When you talk about like this, how, how people like judge Instagram, or like people judge life, like it's going to be, um, let me see, how we break it down? It's going to be, all right, percentage wise, all right. It's going to percentage where the people that like, percentage of people that's going to believe everything they see on the computer, percentage of people that's not going to believe none they see on the computer, sure. and the politics of the people that's not going to give a fuck about what they see on the computer. Yeah. <laughs> so it goes into that when it comes to like, they go into that part. I like, well, like, I think I'm one of the people who don't believe anything, you know what I'm saying? Like, you have to. I feel like I'm one of the people like I, have, I really got it. Speaking of follow how I'm trying to I'm trying to break it down uh, yeah. at the end of the smartest term for y'all. So y'all just, okay. You have to sometime take a little heave to the shit if that makes sense. Like a little heave. Yeah. Because what the f why would y'all say this? You know what else? Yeah. It's sort of like I'm a person where it'd be like, I just dig deep into the Yeah, same thing. But I'm not finna just believe it. Like right now you post on the computer, so and so he a snitch. I'm not finna believe he has then kind of said this. Yeah. I see a lot of people just see the headline title and be like, oh, are you a snitch or wrong with it? Yeah. They never did their research, never did their homework. They just, it's what it be. You know yeah. what I mean? Yeah. They, they, like, they never filed their taxes. They never got no money back. Yeah. They just, that's what it was. A lot of people are like that. As soon as they see that, that they it is. starts tricking. That's it, what it is. Okay, so like me, and uh, you gotta, like, we gotta, like, see, like, I gotta see, like. Yeah. I bet. So it'd be like a lot of sh like when I see, I don't know. It's like, I feel like but a lot of people be telling, bro. Yeah. Like for real, like it's not even, it's just, it's just on camera now. Yeah. And, uh, it's crazy. And, just, and, and, just cause, and, just, and I got to say something cold too. Just because it's not on paperwork don't mean that you ain't do it. Exactly. Just, that's right. And just because it's not on paperwork don't mean that you didn't do it, man. And niggas can go, man, tell and then take that shit back or tell and say the shit and tip them people. And this shit never got documented, but you done tipped about it's hella guns over here or all type of shit. And you could get it sealed too, you know what I'm saying? In some cases, you know what I mean? Yeah, I'm following. Now, what, that leads to my other thing, because I don't want to, 
I don't want to harp on the the old block little Dave situation. Oh, no, you know what I'm saying? I, I, look, I thought it was King Dave in old block. I ain't know little Dave. I think it was Lil and Dave. I thought. That's all you know I'm saying. saying. Like I don't know. And I'm just going off of what the news story said. You know what I'm saying? Dave's fault. Really? Now there's another situation that's a little crazy, and I can speak from my experience because I blogged for like two years strong, killing it, doing the research, doing it all. I never once got the inkling to say, you know what? I'm going to put myself in all this, or I'm going to tell a firsthand account of something. I'm going to always go off of what's out there on social media and look up things that I get from other people around the situation. But there was a blogger by the name of Trenches News. Now, Trenches News, he had firsthand accounts of things that went down in Chicago. Isn't that so crazy? Go ahead. A lot of people vouch for him. Yes. They say that they know him, that they used to be with him, that they hang with him. So how can you say that he not? I don't know, bro. I have nothing to do with that shit. One yeah. thing I do know is one time he made a video about He said, we throw you a You not a killer. You do. You, you hang with the killer, but your that's not a killer. That was the best video I ever saw in my life. I don't know. I ain't never did shit. Nobody. Thank you so much, son. Is you talking about. Exactly. You ever want to New York problems. Give me my problem. Thank you, yes, sir. <laughs> I get you. I get your luggage like there. God damn it. But yo, so he was telling these firsthand accounts, right? Yeah. And he's telling stories. He gets put on front page news. I'm talking about the front page. They, people are sending me him without the mask on, but they've been doing that. Like, yeah. you know, a long time ago, yeah. people like, you want to know who Trojan News is? They got to send that picture around like, but I don't be, you know, I think that shit on me. I have never, I talked with King Yellow about this. I have never. I saw, I saw them call his ass King Teller, man. <laughs> they been saying that, when man. You, yeah, man. We'll, we'll talk about it a little bit, but I want to stay on Trojan News for a second. But with Trojan News, he like, this is interesting from him being a blogger and having all that insight. It, it's, it, it's, I can see the, I can see the appeal. But then the fact that, yo, you come to find out that he's an informant, informant. Like he's been working for the FBI, getting installment payments of like $25,000. Like he's the real deal informant. You know what I mean? Any, any team six tray. Yeah. <laughs> what do you mean by that? Any team six tray. Six tray. To me, all of that's informant. Oh, okay, 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 yeah, okay. Yeah, six to thirty. In. Okay, okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, he's cool with like his history goes back with with oh, with, with yeah. FBG Duck. Yeah, sixty thirty because he's trying to get everybody cooked for Duck trial. That that was his explanation. Now, what do you think about this? Because he said that basically he's trying to do the right thing because somebody needs to go down. I don't got nothing to do with that. Or <laughs> well, yeah, I got. I look right when it comes to. <laughs> I look right. What kind of people tell it? It's time we feel like, man, they go try to tell me, man, I don't got nothing to do with, with nothing. I feel you, man. I pray for that young brother, man. I think that he needs to. Just one more point about it. Oh, his role. Like, why is you on a computer acting like this? You were like, 6 9 made this shit so bold. And yes. I never, this is a new generation. Right. Because they telling you, like, nigga, boy, I just told your ass, boy. <laughs> it's that, boy. Your <laughs> ass, boy. Your ass, boy. They coming, boy. Boy, yeah, boy. Boy, flush that shit. Have that shit. They coming, nigga, right now. To so your mama house, nigga. To your, you know, baby mama house, nigga. Your sister house, nigga. I think they at your brother house right now, nigga. I'm flinching on everybody. Like, what the fuck is wrong with y'all? Y'all is fronty y'all shit, bro. That's them people get caught. How they get caught, man. If you ain't get caught, you ain't do this shit, man. Simple, man. You wanna, yeah. Uh, man, he, he did it, man. Black Lord, man. I know he did it. And, I, and regardless, regardless of what people think about King Yellow, we both talked about this. And right now, you've got, you got people who are, are searching and they standing on it. What? You know what I'm like, uh, And my question to him was, did 6 9 end up, did he change the rap game? He changed it. Because you had, like, he yeah. just did an interview in, in Chicago where he basically pulled out the blick and said, hey, I'm ready for whatever. Yeah, I told. Uh, Trish just lose. He did an interview and he pulled out the blink and said, "Yeah, I'm I'm ready." Like if you if you still, you know what I mean? Think about community activists though, like not community activists, but think about like neighborhood watch football like that. They yeah. men like you know, man, I'm talent. Yeah, yeah. When he, when he crossed a certain line, and even if then I think about you like Ken, maybe we spoke on the hallway that was and whoever stand in the middle, we try to tell. Yeah, people tell around. Right? That's what that's what they do. Most people say. Just, okay. <laughs> yeah. Oh my God, the way you said it. Yeah. No, just most people can tell. Like, yeah, that's true. Most people can tell. Yeah. When? I give you that one. Most people can tell. <laughs> what? Like, for you to not tell, you got to really be a cut more. Or really just be like, like, just take your own way. Like, yeah. like 
they watch them. And I feel like the only way it's okay to tell us right, that's what that person told to telling them. So like some stories, I'm like, man, tell on me. So man, so everybody can get like, like just put it all on me. You know, niggas just be like, man, look, I, I'm on parole, man. Just put it all on me. Okay, yeah, 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 yeah. man, that shit, man, put on parole, man. He said that's on him, man. Let us go, man. And then that's still the other camera. Yeah, 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 yeah. You know, he said it though. What about though? Like you say it. Yeah. Oh, man, you said you said, man, I want parole. Shit, all on me. Don't do my pipes. You found in the car. I don't care if they up on his side. Then man. And that happens a lot. That happens a lot. And got police though. They drove some lame. No. And everybody in the car, yeah. He'll try to be like, nah, 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 it ain't y'all. He's like, I'm confessing, it's mine. And nah, nah. Like, and depending if they don't like certain people. Yeah, yeah. But what he's doing is something totally different. And I don't he, think... He, 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 so did 6 9 change the game when it comes to snitching? 6 9 say, I'm not agreeing to this shit, though. Like, I'm listening to what you're saying. Like, I'm like... I'm. In agreeing to what you're saying, I got you. yes, she changed the game. I'm not in, in agreeance to what they're doing. Okay, yeah, I think it's cool when me raising a kid, uh, with children. I always tell man, stop telling yeah. so much. But then again, they tell them telling them. Sometimes they don't tell. I won't know what happened. So it's like, <laughs> like you was like, yeah. like, like my son, like man, man, what they did, so he gonna he gonna he gonna tell you. Oh my daughter, oh my daughter. Oh, she gonna call it down. She gonna yeah, they did this at this time, Dad. I don't know why they did it, Dad. <laughs> yeah, so like I don't know. Like I didn't just kind of. We're ready. I don't even. Well, if you're not a street nigga, go ahead and tell that. And you're not. Only way is really snitching. The term. Only way the term snitching applies to you. That's if that term applies to you. Because if you was. And not living that life, it wouldn't even be called snitching, it'd be called telling, and it wouldn't be nothing out the norm to you. All the way is out the norm to you. That's if you live a life where you know the term was called snitching. Mm -hmm. And you're like, so you're no, if, if, if you know that term is snitching, that means you are somewhat know about that lifestyle, so you shouldn't do it. Now, if you don't even know what that word means, then that's the difference. Yeah, and let's make sense. Yeah, yeah. And a lot of people grow up. And they're told that, hey, man, you see something wrong, tell about something wrong that you see. You know what I'm saying? But a lot of people, especially, you know. Yeah, she was like telling it and punching they shit for trying to tell. Yeah, I was like, you're talking about like somebody's parents, like, just be like, hey. Yeah, like somebody just trying to tell. Police didn't come fast enough. Yeah. Somebody was trying to tell. Yeah, no, nah, I was seeing Somebody see. tried to tell. Oh, yeah, I, you know, I think I would have been a prison a lot. But I just seen niggas, hell, steal, <laughs> hell, they bother me like. Man, he was grown ass man, like doing this. Yeah, but like, yeah. you think he's old, ain't he? It's a different time, man. It's a different time, yeah, man. Yeah, I'm hearing yeah. Martin more than this. You say what Martin died for? To be young, Martin ain't died for this, did he? Though, nah, I don't, I don't think so, man. Martin like this. Martin would be like, I know, because they even had their own rules. Like Martin. if they got arrested, Martin wouldn't snitch. Martin, I had a dream the nigga wouldn't tell him. Martin ass. I don't think not from. I don't, I don't know, man. They say this is this off subject, but man, told me that man. Now Johnny will say it. They'll get mad, man. They ah, they gonna get mad. Oh, I'm hot. What the fuck say, man? That wasn't even for Martin, man. What say Jesse Jackson moved out the way. They clap him on that. I've heard that theory before. Like that's out there though. <laughs> that's been out there. You know what I mean? Ah, I was talking about getting involved with random. Come here, where you have? I'm like, hey, like, bro, like, damn, want to still be here, man. I'm trying, and they go back to the hang with niggas, man. And, and, and look at, I'm with Jensen, okay. But see, you don't know, them. she probably was around, like, man, we fight, man. I gotta get that back door off, man. You gotta get up out of there. What the he doing too much, man? He trying to have a speech and a walk, man. We gotta get him out of here. Like, well, not, man, Jesse, you're not dead, don't you, man? I'm hoping not, man. I've heard that thing. It's a joke. That's been out there forever, it's though. Joke, man. I'm a comedian, man. You know, I it's I been out there forever, though. That, that for the well, I shouldn't be a comedian, but I don't know how to crack jokes for it. A little, just just a little bit off of trenches news, and just to cause a little bit of this out. I don't got nothing to do with trenches, though. Yeah, I, yeah. I, Are you saying something crazy? Go ahead, go ahead. Off parole. <laughs> I, I literally like I'm off parole. Like I'm off parole. Like I just beat parole. Like I don't got to go to Chicago no more. For I never want to go, and I still give me some time, people. <laughs> for chillos, not some cheese, then pop pepper, real shit, you don't know about it. But like, I'm all dope. I've heard, oh, man, I, I, man, I want to try it. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, I want to try it. Bitch, I'm on, we'll follow him. But yeah, my bitch ass off pro. So let me say this for y'all, snitch ass. Bitch ass niggas on phone. I'm off parole. 
all this time I was on parole, moving scared as hell. And one of y'all bitch ass niggas was gonna tell on me. I'm a former grade. Guess what? Can't do no more. Hell, cause I'm all pro. That can't do shit to me. Bitch. Fuck ya. Yeah. Fuck you talking about. Y'all bitch ass niggas was telling on me. I'm from the grade. Yeah. I, yeah. It was telling on me when I was on parole. Every time my parole officer. Yeah, I heard you went on 63rd. You heard you said fuck dog. You heard you said walk the ground, man. The H people is calling. Whoa. Folks want me. She, yeah, yeah. They ain't really trying to get me in trouble. Like, I was scared as hell. That's why sometimes I ain't post or I say certain shit or do certain shit. I've been on parole since I got out of jail. Nigga, I'm finally free. I've been on pro. I've been on paper since I was 17 years old, nigga. Since I was 17, nigga. That's half of my life, nigga. I'm 32. Since I was 17 years old, I've been out to deal with the police, papers, house arrest, jail, some type of call check in. Now I'm free, nigga. And this is me tell y'all to my young niggas that's out here, or you all my recidivism niggas that keep going back to jail, man. F these people, bro. Get free, bro. And I can suck my, bro. I'm free, bro. I'm not doing nothing else besides take care of my kids. But I thought I'd just enlighten y'all with that because. A lot of times, we don't finish our parole. We have valid to finish it. Like, shout out Ewald. He just valid his parole to finish it, though. I didn't valid this time. I did my two years like a man. Stand up, chin up, beat that shit. Knock it down. Now I'm free. I can go. Even though I, men can travel and go where I want to, but now I can just go live my life, nigga. So all them guys said, well, you go, bro. Let me back, nigga. Suck, nigga. Ain't no fun the grade, nigga. They all in there with these hoes, nigga. They ain't, nigga. Locking us up and locking us down. When we got in jail, they trying to fuck. They all in there trying to do our lame ass shit. I ain't defending them. Nah, nah, man. I had to let you have your moment yeah, there. Yeah, that was my moment right now. There. Now, I also want to ask you about this, man. Since we're sliding down at all this selling talk, this is the last part of that. King Yeller, man. 1090 Jake did a video on King Yeller and I interrupted. Like, I like 1090 Jake because they tried to treat him and he be treating their ass. He don't be going. So if he cool with me. Um, now, I do not like Yellow. I think his ass a fing goofy. I think his ass a fing peon. And Big Buford and uh, check them here and over five, that's what it is. But I don't put no snitching and no gay stuff on a nigga if he ain't do it, though. That's just me. That's just me and them the rules I follow. Yeah, I ain't doing that. Like, I'm not. I don't want. I don't like. He ain't, I ain't see him talking to nobody, so I don't, you know, I'm not. And I'm not calling him snitch. So I'm, I'm not a goofy. Oh, y'all ass a fucking big ass bird, a fucking goofy, but I'm not calling him no snitch because yeah. I ain't. See, I don't, I don't, I don't personally feel like he snitched uh, me personally, but I don't know I'm going to do that. I didn't watch it, though. To see you, I didn't hear. I didn't even dig it, so I didn't give a Because guess what? I just thought it was funny that he always trying to make videos about somebody, and that's why I made a video about him. <laughs> so now you mad? No, nah, you do this to everybody. And they shout out to Nike Jake, man. You, <laughs> this nigga yellow. This nigga can't tell him. I just said that. But this nigga make a video about everybody what they got going on. Now somebody wanted to play with you, like how you want to play with somebody else, and now you want to get that man was hurt. He wanted to cry in the car. I saw the video. I was like, man, look, man, the false news jumps the Man, look, this, whether you, I don't fucking know your internet, bro. It was just the fact that you wanted to keep playing on play with you. So chill. Focus on your kids. Be cool with that weak ass journalism. That shit like snitching. That shit some shit, bro. And be cool before you really do tell somebody and you get somebody locked the fuck up with all your journalism because you almost got me in trouble one time. Lame ass nigga. So stop doing police bro. For real, bro. Really? You almost got in trouble from one of yellows you're in? Really? Even that, he just was saying random goofy one time like to a learner one time. You know, he did not know. There ain't if it wasn't no light on it, he trying to shed light. Like, get you a flashlight? Get your goof ass back, man. What you doing, man? For all the fuck back, man. I just saw a dude from, from, uh, from Cali say, hey, knock your Dude from uh, Why Not say, hey, knock your ass out. Mm -hmm. I'm talking about go. I don't see no energy on the computer about you from the pub and do all that shit. Like, man, you treat out of town niggas different than you do new. Man, like, come on, nah, I'll keep that same energy for, but for real though, I ain't just, I just feel like you, you got a little taste of his own medicine. He ain't like that. He ain't like pinking on him. Really? That, he got pinked on Pink on it, but that's what that lie felt like he was under the pressure. How many, he was lying? You know, how many people? How many people? He tried to pick on though. He talking about all type of shit. He saying, shit. but for real, as a man though, you start to say shit. You got nothing to say though. They ain't, they ain't whether they know it or not, man. Be cool, man. You going here? You try to get your grand do your time, man. Now I do got to say this, man. And you made a very good point. I I don't know if that's telling. You know what he did? I don't know if that's he, yeah, that's probably like, was that just a swearing. I just wanted everybody just tired of him. Like the world just so tired of him, they want anything to happen. Like, man, his ass, anything can happen to hold him and happen. Yeah. Like, just cause, like, yeah, shut your ass up, cause that shit is up. Like, he could, like, you know, shut your 
Besides, though, like, you already running. Because, though, you making a GD look very hard. Talk to GD. I don't even game ain't like that no more, bro. Like, come on, bro. Like, let's be real, bro. Like, all right, I'm bullshit to this ad, bro. Oh, game ain't like that, man. <laughs> Oh, I don't fool them great. Sam Larry Hill ain't even game banging like that, nigga. I know big who, I know all the who's, nigga. They ain't even game banging like that. You won't even really do no real for the GDs. You not even at the GDs picnic every year. You not sending, you don't got the GD box or you in the county. You not sending money to Larry. You not sending money to folks to them. You not even that. The who the fuck made you the Pope of the GDs? The and the apostle of the other fucking gangs of the type you not. And then it's 2024 now, 23. Nobody gave man like that. Niggas, family members taking care of yeah. gang members. You family members. You take care of my kids, bro. So we can goof and throw him ass down with that. That's how that shit was fucking P. Diddy's son. I don't know, man. I pissed me off because I know P. Diddy's them, son. I f with them. Shout out for them. I ain't got one there. Yeah, you want to call him Jared to the G. What's that your big goofy ass up, man? Those big bitches. Those dumb ass, man. Every time, man. You got something to say, man, about some GD shit, man. They didn't want to try to drop a GD song, man. Why you ain't y'all more Google remakes, man? Get y'all Google fast. I don't know, man. Y'all make yourself look bad, man. I was trying to disassociate myself, man. I hate sometimes they put me next to these niggas, bro. I got get mad. Like, it was one point when I used to tell you all, like, bro, I don't know what they say. Do not reply to this nigga because he is so goofy, bro. They gonna put your name next to him like your ass up. Participating in these goofy antics. Showing up, you all get right on the stairs and shit. They get to walk the band. Like, these niggas, I ran these niggas is doing any, bro. These niggas is faking homeless, trying to for attention. He's talking about like, AOD. These niggas acting like they fucking Larry Hoover's son and don't even mother never fucking was a board. You know, folks are never even a board member, man. Like, the folks is never even a board member, man. Like, go on, bro. I don't want to disrespect you because this is. I'm clearing the air. I'm going to 2024. I don't want no beef for nobody. If you had beef in the past, like, don't get me wrong. We're going to still kick your ass. That's not nothing doing nothing. That's, like, that's not beef, though. That, your ass is a fucking goofy. Okay. When I don't got beef for nobody, I'm trying to clean up the next shit. I'm trying to just get this money and keep living good and travel and take care of my kids and the problem and drop unlimited music because I rap better than all y'all that we're talking about. But it's just the fact that, bro, that shit ain't goofy. It's like, bro, that shit, you ain't doing make you cringe. Sometimes we even see it's always something like, bro, shut the f up. Yeah, I'm not just like, some people on me, like, and this is me, like, in her looking at me like, man, you shut the f up, you are. But, like, I'm not, I'm not, and I don't want rap. People post me. I'm not posting myself. It's a difference. Yeah. I'm not, neither f post me. The world posts me. I no. can't that. He posts himself. He ain't your f. No. I'm not specifically saying King Yellow, because I like dude, man. He's 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 cool. I, I, I he's cool. him too until I saw the shit him. Things like him. Remember, I'm the one that told you, like, man, we ain't cool. Yeah. And then I did, I came back in, like, man, I'm talking to the bitch that's good. Remember, even, even I say, I remember. I remember, I remember our first interview. Oh, see, man, that, I mean, what, what, what you see, you nigga, ass, and then coming out of more, man. Right? But my thing. They say when a wolf at 600 bring you, man. 600, man, you was in, man, look, bro. Just leave that shit alone, bro. That's just like the time when I saw me moving for If I ain't smack the fuck out of him, bro, I gotta shut the fuck up, bro, because I saw him. I couldn't did it. And instead, I didn't do it. So I can't really look at her do that. No, because I didn't do it. So leave that shit alone like the fuck. Uh, what it be sometimes. Wait, Lee, it's like there's a lot of cringe stuff out there now. You know what I'm saying? On social media. Like you got these in real life. Make think it. Make me cringe. Like, Damn, you thought you was the queen all my life. We, everybody cried that set it off when they killed Queen Latifah. Yeah. You made it to the end. You had to chop the braids off the up and day. Now, man, see, you know, we thought she was the one. Will Smith, he was a f I robot. Mother what, what, what else he was? What he was? What he was he, he, I robot. I mean, that's not what the movie he was in. We can blast me on earth. Blast me on earth, man. You <laughs> <He> were <laughs> Ali. He didn't been the superhero. He done been all type of shit. Yeah, yeah. And this nigga put you on a pedestal. You already sucking. Yeah. Trying to suck shit out of my deal. And go with you all. Bitch, ain't no shit. Suck it all. What you doing on though? <laughs> like, for real, though. Like, I ain't. Hey, I this is crazy, man. This is crazy. Right. Because, like, you got. Okay. You setting the wrong example and shit. I seen something. Uh, there was a panel of people talking about this. At this point, we're like desensitized to fakeness. Like, we like. Man, like this this point, we expect. We just looking for man and. And like this point, you can see somebody that's doing so good. They can be making an honor roll, yeah. straight A's, and college. Yeah. What about the time she's sucking that 
the round of bleachers. Yeah. Like, people want to just desensitize and devalue your accomplishments. Yeah. So, back. And King Tella. Yeah. One shit went number six in the world. Man, I've been rapping since 2013, nigga. Dropping CDs. Nigga, I've been 23, 24 CDs on my own. Never, no, not to say my uncle never walked the band been working. Nigga, I never, yeah, no time of like, uh, delay like that. I was happy to the court of when I'm crying. My mama crying. My kids are like, yeah, there. Like, it's just going down. It's like, there. Like, I gotta go hard now. Like, it was motivation. This ass, goofy, big bird ass, peon ass, probably golf line, ain't nobody looking in the room, see sniffing ass, f ass, hook ass, wanna be Jalari, who was so bad ass, crayon face ass, f ass, f ass nigga, yellow boy. How about computer? It's Photoshop. What the fuck out of Photoshop? Uh, accolade, folks. That's the shit you wanna do. Yeah. Now I'm my head like, damn. Now you post if I have to say it right now, nigga. The GDs, nigga. Even the first war, we really don't like that. Oh, G O D, we go in the stairs. G D. Why the minute why the sense like that? Or if I would have got two of them, I would have posted. Or if I would have smacked the fuck out of me, you would have posted. But I did something good for everybody that's independent, nigga. Why just show y'all we can do the on our own independent, nigga? I just watch my song, nigga. Shoot up, nigga. Remember where I was like, damn, I got up on Spotify. I don't even feel on Spotify. I'm like, Got my dad listening, busting up on them. See, they put me in rap caviar. They nigga call me like, you a rap caviar. I don't know what the f that is. They said, play this on Spotify. The niggas ain't getting on there. They put you on there, gang. I'm damn. He couldn't even say it. I mean, it's crazy. Being yeah, cool or not, as a friend, being cool or not, as a person, you can even just say respect it. Yeah, that's pretty yeah. crazy. Photoshop. To the point, uh, blog, Chicago Way, Shout out to Chicago Way, post like, Ken Yellow, hey, no, we can rap. I'm damn to the point, they ate him up in the comments, like, damn, we hate no scud. To the point, so, like, and then like, that's just what n niggas don't know how to. I'm not, I feel like I'm a nigga right now, I can bump into a nigga, I want the man see him do a great, and just like salute. Well, well, let me get you. I ain't gonna say f you, I'm gonna salute you. Let me get you your props, because your last two projects, you been on a run, bro. <laughs> Man, when you first, when you hit the iTunes chart, I'm like, okay, you know, that's a big deal, bro. Like, no. people, you know, they like, I was pretty, that was pretty, no. Nah. Nigga, we gotta think how I felt. You doing your thing, man. You would do God, hey. that's God. God doing his thing. I'm just walking the line that he didn't got for me. Cause I love God. I won't never get the fucked up. I saw some other shit. I'm gonna speak on in a minute. Get the, yeah, I talked to Rico. He talked about how much he love God. I do. I never turn down my, my love for the Lord, you dumb broke ass. See, man, bro, with you. But anyway, though, yeah, people they be trying. I don't, I don't like people trying to do that. Like, let that nigga have his moment. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because I let anybody have their moment. Whether y'all get where you from and what you in, and then you did something great. I'm acknowledge you did something great. I don't even gotta like Google, but I can say, hey, you from Kanye though, gang. That was great. Yeah, that was. I know. I don't gotta like motherfucker. Petey Pablo, but nigga, you raised so. Showed around your head like a helicopter. <laughs> the whole world was doing it. Like, you know what I'm about? Yeah. Like, I'm one of them niggas. No, I don't right. like that. Niggas want to. Man, Petey Pop, he has one of braids, though. Yeah. Or, man, man, the man but that, man. Okay, but Kanye, you know. Like, niggas have been trying to say anything, vice versa, of saying, like, this week. I think that's oh, why you nigga. keep getting blessed, man. Because think about it, bro. Like, I don't, I don't have a hating bone in my body. And you, and you, if don't. you do something dope. I would be like, yo, yeah. so and so did Even something right dope. Now, we was behind the scenes talking, yeah. talking about another. Yeah. And you were like, well, I think you're the good guy. Why me like you? Yeah. Just, you just speak good, like you ain't no hating that. Okay. He ain't showing me nothing shady. Now, if, now, if I did a slight to I'd say that too. Yeah. But nah, man, like some people, they just be off the off the cut. Now, now you know, there's man. a situation that just happened recently where one of the beloved figures in this hip hop thing, you know what I'm saying? Oh, a guy by the name of Charleston White, man. What do you do? He's been having a That's tough. Local. He's been having a tough kind of month, man. I'm not sure if you've seen it, but originally he was sitting in a barber shop, yeah, and no. a guy. I was like, getting paid ten thousand for interviews. Yeah, yeah, doing <laughs> Yeah, no, he, he's killing it. I'm not gonna lie about that. You know what I'm saying? What he do? So what he do? He sitting in the barber shop. Yeah, he was sitting in the barber shop, and he was basically kind of sleeping or something. And some dude just walked up and walked him, bam, dim, dog. I'm talking about boom, bad. Why he was sitting down? Dude, did you see the video? No, but it's just funny. I, one time I saw a video of Charleston saying this happened to him on the computer. Like, it's right. But he said he was playing, though. 
He wasn't playing? No, nah, he wasn't playing. This week, just this week, or oh, yesterday, oh, the actual that video came out. When it first happened, he was trying to go. But then when, when he didn't see it come out, he was like, I was just playing. Yeah. Like, he like, yeah, I was playing. Yeah. I was playing, but he wasn't playing. Nah, he wasn't yeah. playing. Uh, they would have called him, we went across it. Yeah, the what guy, you know? well, he basically jumped up. So the guy hit Charleston, right? I'm like, one, two, them immediately. And Charleston is kind of sleeping in the chair. So the dude walks up, it was just one, two, right? And Charleston gets up, it's like, trying to, you know, you sleep. I wake up. You're like, what up? You discombobulated. And anybody who knows, if you've been hit while you sleep, you wake up in a frantic. You're like, man, well, what's going on first? Yeah. So he backs up, and Charleston grabs a mop and tries to hit the dude with a mop. So a lady gets in between him and the dude, and Charleston said this is a dude he's been into with a long time because yeah. dude was is, is all bad. You know, he says some things that I can't say yeah. about the dude, but he says he's all bad. You know what I'm saying? So it's like, I don't know, man. I don't know. It was crazy to see. But, like, the biggest thing about this is, and this is why social media went crazy about it, Charleston White has almost been the Mr. Untouchable. Nobody's been able to touch oh, him. Yeah. Nobody's probably been able to get at him. He's just been that guy that nobody can get, man. What do you think this, do you think that'll change? Nah, he's not untouchable because at any minute, had a location where he called me, like, Charleston, uh, like, but I, nobody want to go to jail. <laughs> he's not worth going to jail. Nobody's not worth getting in trouble for, if that makes sense. And he's smart. I just saw that one move, like, I'm just playing with y'all. This is how I really feel. So when I saw that, I'm like, oh, see, I know what he was doing anywhere, though. He just, he's just a smart man. I can say he's an intelligent man. Definitely. He just trying to get the attention of the masses. And sometimes they get the attention of the masses, you got to gravitate towards negativity. So he was trying to go towards negativity. So that way you can be like, woo, say that, that. Like, you, like, that's why I write. So, like, he, what? Some of the shit he said gonna have consequences. Whether or not he was playing, whether or not he was trying to get attention or not, it's gonna have no consequences. So just be prepared. Don't go to the barbershop. If you know you, or if you do go to the barbershop, go to the barbershop. Me, when I go to the barbershop, that, like if I got a hoodie like this, then i my shit. So I woke up, I'm blinking right through my shit. Self defense. How am I? Man, I try. He's he a gun man, so I the fuck ain't get the blowing. Yeah, I, well. I think he was so caught by surprise he did the first thing he could. Self defense. Yeah. You got the right. It's Texas. What? Yeah. Punch it the wrong way. You can kill. Yeah, in Texas. Yeah, you, you, yeah, you, you, you wilding if you ain't. You know what I mean? Yeah, I R.I.P. Woody, man. Yeah. That's how Woody got playing with Ben, man, man. I'm going to fold Free self defense. Playing. People want me playing like that. Yeah, especially in Texas, bro. Like, for real. Please don't play for real, for real. Now, to add on to that, Charleston White was at a comedy show. Yeah. Did you see what happened at the yeah. college? Trying to jump on stage. Yeah. And tap his ass. And damn, so he got. He got. He got the crisis one. I think it's been. I think the first situation happened maybe like two months ago. But it's, it's been, been back there. Like, back to back. Back yeah. to back. Like, but you see ass catching up. Yeah. All that saying, f motherfucker. And catch up. That's what I'm saying. Like, I've been now. And I'm not like throwing a rock and hat in one hand. I've been saying, f motherfucker. But I'd be like, that's why I'd be like, I'm going, I'm like. You could right now be like, I right, bet, let's do something. I got to map it all out of my head before I just do it. Mm -hmm. I got to think about everything to the last detail because I know this is me with my own paranoia as a man and as a public figure, as an entertainer, as a rapper. So, like, I got to make sure I'm on point. Mark real me trying to just do new shit. I don't know. Let me make this make sure it makes sense before I just be doing shit. Shout out to crime, man. Got to make, make, let's make it make sense. And that's for everybody, man. You got to... Niggas you go somewhere, you got a plan. Niggas don't. Niggas right now, I'll, right now, come to a DM. Oh, I want to. Niggas gonna jump out the window. Go f me. I'm gonna go through her her follow list. Who follow her? Mm -hmm. The pictures she liked. The pictures that they who liked her pictures. Who liked her pictures the most? Who feel free to comment? Who not mm -hmm. get the comment? Who tagged her in pictures on the next round? Well, I'm going down before I even reply. You being smart. I'm not like, going, boy. I'm like, no. That's like me right now. You can book me. You can book me for some shit. And I'm still going to over and check the other band was going on because that's just me as a person because I'm a nigga that like, if you want to do something somebody, just go about it like you want to go about it like that. And niggas going to be so, niggas going to be so thirsty for money that you going to just draw me in for them, for them few. And I'd say a few hundreds. There only be a few thousand. There'll be hundreds. Boy, that 300, 400, 500. When nigga fucked up, when nigga a little more Wow, why you throw the trap for that shit? Yeah. Me, I'm a hell nah, boy. I'm gonna look at that trap, boy. It's gonna look. I need to walk to that trap. 
is going to cause this. So I know I bet I'm preparing myself to walk into the trap. But vice versa, it means that you catch me off guard. Mm-mm. Yeah, I think, man, more people than you got a man plan things out. And be more. I think it was sweet. Charles I think it was sweet for us that he removed our security and went on over. And he said that. He said that too. Hey, sh- going on these niggas. But you go, hey, well, hey, niggas ain't someone f- say it right now. Just right now. Like, man, if I ever catch Charles DeWight, I'm going to smack the f- And like, you know what I'm talking about, though? It happened. It just so happened. The day when you're not prepared, you bumped to that guy. Yeah. Recently, Crip Mac got arrested, man. That's my boy. Five, five. The key may share fancy fail. Now, your last song, crap. <laughs> you be doing that dance. Yo, their last time out there. Did you get an opportunity to meet Chris Lack? No. Because I'm going to make Big Lua fight him. Oh, for real? Why? Just because they both big? Hey, I'm going to like that. I was saying Big Lua fight me right now. I'm going to work him up for him. You know what I'm Now, he got... I'm going to sharpen him, though. Okay, okay. Cool. I'm going to sharp. Sharpen me and put him in the check. Now, what do you think about the whole situation with him getting locked up? Like, he was... Hulk and Matt. Yeah. I did see that shit. Crib man got locked up. Whack, whack was just on there with the what with the with the DW flame nigga. They telling Adam he was bogus, and Adam didn't know how bogus he was because Adam white as fuck. Now don't get me wrong, Adam is my dog, but now we get it up. Adam was white as fuck. <laughs> Adam didn't know that he don't know that what that little support can do of him going to court, him even writing the letter, him even doing anything to show this white judge that look, I still look this black kid might look like he's loose and doing. Sh- but I'm standing behind him. I'm putting my minutes on the line, and I'm putting my uh, I'm vouching for him yeah. on the line to say that he's just trying to work to get his family. The judge might have been a fan of No Jumper. Mm-hmm. The, the judge might watch No Jumper every night. You don't know this, so like, so Adam, like, bro, I don't miss anything. Like, no, not when his brothers on the line, not when it's real friendship, when it's real. That's what I'm saying. But that just go to show this though. That I mean that just. I don't just fuck with him. It's a bit of a relationship, not a real G relationship. And like, you can't get mad at Adam for that either. Adam probably looking at Crip Man like, man, it's a bit of a relationship. I don't fuck for real, just be cool for camera. So vice versa, uh, when we see, we come from a, we black, gang. Yeah, so there you go. We look at everything different. We black, we like this. We hang with a nigga two or three times, nigga, we cool. And this one, like, <laughs> we didn't get money together, nigga, two or three times, nigga, we locked in. So it's like, We'll feel weird if we're not here. Yeah. Like, to the point, like, well, even if you didn't want to go, you got to go. But I respect Wack and DW for they were standing on Adam and letting them know, like, nigga, nah, you wrong. Like, nigga, like, they wasn't just being no, uh, like, I, I'm, I'm just like, going along yeah, with what he said. You know, I'm Tom. Sometimes yeah. I'm racing because I'm not a race person. Yeah. I'm my dog. And they're Wack, cool. I, I got respect for Wack. Like, he ain't never, like, I met him with Blueface. It's like, I, uh, Wack, cool. Shit. Um, yeah, I just feel like Adam just don't know about the culture. So just for that, after when I leave here, I'm going to call Adam. I'm going to let him know, like, hey, Adam, uh, I don't know if you, you all know how the severity of that crew man situation, but it's very serious because that little support can change the outcome on how they even play with him. One thing I don't, because when I was going to court, nigga, my judge was an old white lady, nigga. Yeah, uh, nigga, you know who I, nigga, you know who wrote, nigga, Tara Reed wrote a, a letter. I remember you saying that. She wrote the letter for me. You know what? That's all the judge was saying. Like, let me have Tara Reed write a letter. That's like, I'm one of her biggest fans. You know he's a fan. You know, when I was here, I'm like, I got this. <laughs> yes. Like, that gave me less time. My time was 6 to 30 and 85. Then they made it from 7 to 14 and 85. Steve gave me 3 at 50. I'm talking about what? Now, nah, new things you wouldn't get that if Tara wouldn't wrote that letter. Hell no. So just her vouching for you. Her vouching. That's like right now, nigga. I don't right now, nigga. I'm ready to 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 to, to put pipe to your shit, knock your shit off. I mean, you need me a fool and ranger. You need me Ain't you dug up? Even then, oh god, I caught you. I'm gonna blow you down. I'm gonna call like niggas that I with heavy though. Know, like anybody that I with heavy, like man, what? I'm tripping out. What are you like? I ain't tripping out the apparatus. Oh yeah. <laughs> Throwing your shit out. Oh, yeah? All right, man. Well, look, gang. I probably didn't like your phrase, but folks them said, like, I fuck with folks so heavy that, man, we, that's how it would have been. You know what I know? Yeah. People are right. saying that really and go along. Right now, nigga. Think about you a billionaire. And this one of your close friends. And you think about fucking with them all. And you gonna listen to your close friends. Like, no, 
Slim Gang. I'm glad that, and I saw a piece of that. I'm glad, like you said. Boston Richie got sired. Yeah. Boston Richie got sired. How's that? For, 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 for getting school to son. Oh. You're in school to son. I saw Boston Richie and told his dad about it. His dad told Future. That's you know Boston Richie signed. Damn. Because. And, and but if he would no matter how hot he is, if it was a certain bounce wouldn't ever said it, wouldn't got paid attention to. Yeah. Well, no, I don't. No, I hear exactly what you said. Failure, yeah. man. I think that man. I think you made a good point when you said that because he, you know, he comes from a different background, so we understand a, a voucher or. Mm-hmm. Actually, like you said, if you hang out with somebody enough times, you feel weird turning your back on them in a tough you spot. You a fool? You be like, where I'm from, they call it fool. We're for a fool, like damn I'm fool. Say like, 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 I'm a, I'm a nigga. Well, I'm just a nigga like this. Well, if I stand on it, if I said it, it's what it is. Like right now, okay, I got one watch on me. I say I have two watches on me. I was locked up with this nigga in jail. I was front my, shit. not really front my, shit, but just we were in jail. Niggas talking about that long. So niggas fucking went the out the bed. He took my. Then you ice and see it out there. I mean, yeah, I mean, ain't like nothing. He man, I get out, I'm gonna give me a watch, man. I mean, I'm gonna trip when I get out, I'm gonna give you a watch. Nigga, I run through nigga, all type of shit. Roll these cardio, everyone, I'm gonna get a watch for you. So he like this now. He getting that. But he called me outside, okay? He, we're gonna work what you want, okay? Why is this hell in there? Yeah, what I want to say? This is like my big brother, too. I'm looking at my other wrist, huh? Yeah, I got him, you know, I got him. <laughs> Tuck that beat out. <laughs> yeah, I took him to the shower. I'm the back. Like, man, what's going on? Man, I, I told folks I was getting with what. He called me up and he's like, I gotta give him to him. I'm a man of my word. Some she like, damn, you really finna give him your watch? Like, you a man of your word like that? I said, I gotta be, because if I don't stand for nothing, for anything, I gave him yeah. watch. He say, yeah, she a man of your word. I said, you mad. Man, that's what's up. Nah, that's what's up. Like, most people, they probably would have tried to hide a rap. Like, hey, hey, I, I wasn't scared. that first though. <laughs> Hit me on the house with it, man. Oh, man. All right, bet I got that camera seat. <laughs> I don't want to just have two watches. It was a Cardi. I wanted to keep two watches, but you know, I said it. If I wouldn't have said it, if I wasn't gonna do it, I shouldn't have said it. You had Lil Zay Osama do what a lot of people too, too on Facetime like yeah. the other day. Cause now, uh, since when I was in the studio and my producer, they made the number one uh, the song on his new CD, and he called like Lil Zay. I'm like, I don't not. Like, we're not, <laughs> right, we're not, hey, cool, no, he cool. So he, he put on our phone. I'm like, game, what's wrong? Why you coming? We're cool. And then, uh, Deuce is on the phone. Deuce went board. So Deuce gets that. Hey, man, we used to be on Sandy Fred, bro. Damn, hold on. I feel free for him, though. I like Lil Zay music. I yeah, feel like he ain't too. But when, like, when he rapping that shit, I like that. Shit. So, interesting themes. Now, do you think this situation, he's saying that he's going to be back. I like back. other niggas, too, though. Mando Kenny, I like them niggas, too. Okay, yeah. yeah. That is it. Yeah, yeah. Okay, that's what I'm saying. Like, I always been like this. What do you think how hard this is as a nigga from yeah. Chicago? They're like, I like, I like Chief Keef. I like JoJo, too. Yeah. I like what? Like, I I'm never, I hate a nigga having pick a side. Yeah, I like that. I'm gay. I'm all the time. Yeah, that's a good thing, but, though, right? How about, I mean, I like Mando Kenny, too. His ass, like, bah, bah. Yeah. I think that with his situation, man, it's almost the same as the Crip Mac situation where he's being accused of having a switch and a gun with a switch, man. So I don't know about no switch. Yeah. And I wasn't talking about the switch. I forget the... And the little nigga went out. Hold on. Yeah, I wasn't talking about the switch. I forget the... <laughs> 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 the switch went to the fair later about... Nah. Now, I'm not 100% sure that his case is involving the switch. Nah. It... Right. They say that's talking about... I saw that on social media. Man, a switch? And some about some jury up, up in New York or some shit. I, I be really, That's what he be accused of, man. I be seeing this shit, though. Oh, yeah. I'm, oh, I'm well, a computer. I'm, why do you own that one? I'm looking. Oh, oh damn, that your ass. Your ass, oh, damn, girl, that ass right. Like, I'm on it. Now, here's the crazy question, bro. Do you think the rise in people talking about it in their music has got everybody out there trying to get a switch now? Yeah. <laughs> I'm bad, man. Look, back when I had a switch, I wasn't even cool. Back when I had a switch, people didn't even know it was, people didn't even believe me. To the point where we had to go shoot him for the noise, it was real. Like, that was back in the day. Like, back in the day, like, it was just, we gotta, it wasn't even called the switch. We just, like, said, we got, that bitch a fully. But we just got a fully, we got a fully. We didn't call it twist. Nah, we was like, nah, that bitch fully. That bitch was holding the trigger down. That's all I would say. We never used the term. I think the term got cool by Timo. I think Timo made the term switch is cool. Oh, okay. yeah. They not want to give him his credit. You know Timo? Yeah, from OTF. Yeah, yeah. yeah. They, they not want to give Timo his credit, but Timo, made the term switch is cool because before that nobody wasn't using it like that. Like, really? What Timo go go back. Timo Timo I saw he was talking about he had like he had a whole 
shit called Twitch Music. <laughs> All he was talking about was switches. And like, <laughs> that was like, said, when did Timo get hot? In 19 or 20, right? Cause I got- Yeah, it was like 2019, you right. I got locked up in 2002 and I did two years. When I got out, he went, it was over. And they didn't even care about him no more. Yeah, that was he, a weird situation. He and Trump died too. But they just grabbed him, oh yeah. But, they were about the switch though. But you know how the switch got in Chicago, right? Nobody ever told you, right? Nah. One day niggas is they pull like uh, niggas just found a box like found the switches in Chicago, like in the worst area ever. So just a box like found the switches in that. And they got selling, but it's three hundred switch, four hundred switch, like more like a um, that's right, like, crazy. Uh, like a like a, a like a gentrification thing, like a it's more like the now I, I got home boy. He didn't say it's self inflicted. He. Now, always been rumors about boxes of guns being found in Chicago, yeah. boxes of things, crates. Yeah, crates of guns being yeah. found in the world. And there's always been theories that, yo, somebody's playing that stuff yeah, there. And they see. are. Because if you... If they you out there, I'm trying to do shit to me either, because I don't get no... But, man, I look, if somebody... Look, I'm, look, I'm like, Jesus, like, I sacrifice if I got to... <laughs> it's the government, man. So the government of Chicago was like... Mm. Yeah. So they really just like, you know what? They gonna kill themselves off, and then we kill themselves off, and then we can wipe the rest out. So it's just a, it's just gen, it's just, it's just genocide, man. Yeah. It's just, a, it's just gentrification. They put and try to kick out all the niggas and bring in the white rich people. And with Chicago making it easy though, because niggas, that's all I want to do is kill each other again. It's, yeah. And it's kind of like they ain't even getting better. Like you would be like, if they getting better on foot, they getting worse. So okay? and the small switches out here, niggas out here got shit built. But they say you got automatic shit. We got shit built in. I like, got this. You can't even tell this. This is gonna be so what a Glock nineteen or Glock seventeen, but automatic in here. You don't even know. So like, it's like I don't know the world. I mean, this saying certain things make me look looked at a certain type of way. But I don't give a because it's the evolution of me as a man. When you play this down the line and you watch the evolution, you are gonna be like, damn, he really evolved. So let me say this right here as a as a man. The, one of the best decisions I ever did was move out of Chicago. I live carefree. I don't know to the point, and bro, I don't even know. I don't even know to the point I be forgetting who I am and where I'm from for or something. <laughs> I can understand it. Yeah, like in Chicago, just in, in Chicago, in the house, you got a guy and what gun just on you. Anybody that's in the Chicago house, and you carry your gun from room to room because you can go there. Even in your house, you was in the house. Y'all go off a roller over guns. It's guns on the counter. You walk the band. It's just street. It's just, you grow up like this. It's yeah. normal. Out of town, I mean, now that I live in a peaceful in, in Miami in the hot sun, new crib alert, new crib alert. <laughs> now that I live in peaceful, it's like, um, I mean, I have to forget sometimes. Like, when I ain't reading nobody, I'm going to get the new. Like, it be like, oh, like, for like, so like, like, it's just, I don't need the game. Yeah, nah. Fiber shit. That's, that's where you live. Like, I'm on the toilet. It's right there. I'll take a look at it, man. Oh, I'm not. So I'm going to go, who was that? <laughs> who at the door, boy? You got to listen, boy. I'm going to try to bust into I'm taking this shit, boy. Yeah. Now it's like, God, they're catching me. And yeah. it's like, you know Like, that's just. Plus, in Chicago, that, there's a lot of, there's a lot of kick door robberies. There's a lot of busting. It's a lot of back door. Yeah. You want to be in the house with your cousin and we'll go to the door all dream. We're going to got pipes in Take that and watch all. Don't you fucking talk to the world? You ain't like, damn. Damn, what y'all are, you? Yeah, cuz. I you know you be saying fuck them. You know these my people, you be saying fuck them, girl. You gotta take them, come with it. Now, if you're the king, just get that shit up. Damn. You damn. I just got back door. You know what I mean? Yeah. Take that damn. Damn. And then you gotta respect it, cuz you knew damn well you been saying fuck the people. Now, you thought you had a family pass, but shit, cuz ass to a raw in the streets. Now, I agree with you on so you, on so you. Your thoughts there on the future, you know what I'm saying? Well, here's a here's an interesting question, man. Going back to um some Chicago stuff, man. And I know I keep wanting to get your tape. Are you, I'm, but you from Chicago and you're like you, one I'm, of the I be this should be down my timeline. Now, I'm talking about it. Now there's a situation that's taking place in Chicago drill rap that's rather serious. Right. And it's between a rapper by the name of O Five One Kiddo and another rapper by the name right. of uh, T Savage. Goofy, man. And I'm not trying to disrespect nobody on the camera because I said I'm not coming on here and disrespect nobody. But let me tell you why, man, kiddo, get mad. Yo ass used to f and go to the store and go get back world and f and switch the sweets and shit from f and they ain't even had no ID when he opened up the door. So you gotta stand up there and make sure you gotta go to the store and get somebody else to bad so you can bring back to us. We used to make scud do shit. When kiddo came off from jail, 
Well, I'm freaky. Okay, I don't, I'm not, I don't fuck with nobody, but I fuck with everybody, but I don't fuck with nobody, if mm-hmm. it makes sense. Yeah. Whoever fuck with me. Yeah. So if you fuck with me, I'll fuck with you. So whatever. Freaky, my freaky ass, that's my dog, whatever. Freaky said, man, kiddo just came home from doing 10 years, man. He wants you to put him on. Can you please talk to him on the phone? I said, man, I don't want to talk to him. Because I know what he on. He on some goofy shit. I, I just know niggas. He on some goofy shit. I want some accelerating my life, progressing. Life is going too good. He ain't goofy. I don't want to talk. He said, bro, this this freaky for, for me. Just hear him out. He sent me like three kiddo songs. He first went before the internet got him on type of shit. Just hear him out for me. I'm all right back. I can get you after I get, I get kid on my number, kiddo call me. Huh? I sit on the phone with kiddo for an hour, giving him a, a life heart to heart. Look, bro, this is going on. I had a killing niggas left and right for the same shit you finna come on trying to do. We finna try to say f Lil Durk and all that, man. I leave that shit alone, bro. Huh? And you finna try to say f Lil Durk leave that shit alone, but folks don't try and get some winning for you and your team. And don't let them sing you off like a goofy. You got to be a man, hold your own. This is going on. Nobody was able to make it. You from the most hated spot in Chicago, and you got a chance to really reinvent yourself and do it the right way and do it the wrong way. If you want to kill them, don't be on the computer let people know you want to kill them. Do it behind closed doors. Knock on the left and right. If you're going to make some good music, make some good music. You don't got to do the same pattern because history going to repeat itself. Man. I tell this on the phone. That man looked at me and say. I hear what you're saying, brother, but I'm getting that melody, I'm getting that fast, I'm getting that Zico, I'm getting that gang. I'm getting that gang forever, reckless. And I ain't f- And he keep trying to sneak this freaky now. The whole time on the phone, he's trying to sneak this freaky up. Now, I ain't know he's recording me no extra thing, because I ain't thinking he's on police like that. But he trying to see him freaky. And I'm letting him know, like, look, you fucking with fooling him, and that's cool, but I'm fucking with fooling him. So if fooling not fucking with fooling him, then I'm not fucking with fooling him. So if you not fucking with freaky, I'm not fucking you either. That was the base of the conversation we got to at the end of the Now, uh, to clear it up for people who's going to watch it later, 051 Kiddo's brother is pre-boy, right? Yeah, he snitched on Freaky. And he's the one who allegedly yeah. snitched on Freaky. He got, Freaky got the paperwork. Freaky tight, man. Freaky lawyer wants to give him some bread to give him the paperwork. He wanted like $80, $90. And you give him that, he didn't give you the paperwork. And then you can expose it on the computer. Uh, free boy snitching on, on, uh, on Freaky. Wow. But I'm like, man, because I'm like, I'm not that type of nigga. Oh, yeah, look, expose them, man. That shit niggas house. You know what I'm talking about? Yeah. But my thing with, with Kiddo was, I ain't say nothing bad about you. All I said was, you was talking to Goofy ass. That was some Goofy. I ain't like, I mean, I just talked to you 45 minutes telling you how to do better. You basically say what I'm saying. Let, like, you know what I know? Yeah. Talk, what, 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 what you want my number for? Why are you wasting my words? You know what I know? I can, I can walk around my mansion, finish chilling, laugh, cracking dough, instead of talking to you. This Rasputin ass, big back ass, big growth ass, uh, seen ass looking ass, precious ass on folks in them. So, anyway, go to that. So, now we ain't talked since then. Matter of fact, one time he tried to call me, try to finesse me. Like, whoa, uh, yo, can you give me some, some money? So, I so love from the cash out. He has to get him a girl to afford or something. And then one time, the girl trying to put him out the crib. And I'm like, man, where your pipe at? I'm like, man, you, you, know, you argue with his. And you ain't even think with your head. You finna go outside. You just made five this stones. Man, where your pipe at? Make sure you got a pipe when you run outside, man. But nigga, what it say, nigga? And two of them, what what Cobo say? And two of them say on the couch today. You talking about? Cause you ain't thinking right. That shit happened. So like that was the last time we talked. So the Adam interview, I just let Adam know like the answer about him because I saw an interview when he did, and somebody asked him, "You know me?" And he like, "I don't know." Him. So I'm like, all right, that's him probably not trying to speak on the situation, which is fine and respectful, but don't act like you ain't used to look up to me. Like, don't act like you used to call my phone, because don't forget, I had the song, Clint Clack, you know, I was out here rocking out mm-hmm. at this time, and like, they like, yeah, like, the hottest song down there. Now, I'm the nigga that brought 51st to 75th. Mm-hmm. Like, no, never forget this part of Shadrach and Drill culture. Like, when Lil J and when Duckling used to run from them, I used to read Freaky, Rock and into that. A lot of they ass over here, like, nah, this folks in our our moment with J Real. Like, nah, this one, I know we know from down next I used to live down there. So I know a lot of that. One of them, okay. But they just all been snaked out. They all been and people know you I, people you know how people are like oh fat one. Why? They, they're they snakes. They snaked out. They are snake thing brothers. They're so like they act like they on some loyalty family shit, but they really just gonna snake and backdoor each other. They they be bro, they hang with I mean, bro, these niggas, bro. Because when I talked to Kiddo, that was a big part of it. He said that that, that with 051 Young Money, they like a family. He said, it's not even that. They in tour with, they mean, okay, so I guess. A lot of people. In Chicago, in the new, 
you either with the BDs or you with the ops. That's how Chicago get looked at. Broke down, you know, the BD side or the GD side. Mm. Rather, rather, whether you BD or you GD, you either with Dirk and them or you with Duck and them. Mm. So trying to walk that line and be in the middle, have a certain type of ties, it's going to be impossible. You hang with one person one time, you with them, hang with one person for like oh. 051, I've always been the person that's in tour with them. One time I don't yeah. with like Dirk and them and shit, but me, like, but me in tour with whoever, they never care who they got in tour with. They ain't told with each other. They snake each other. I'm talking about though. Yeah. So it's like they not to be trusted. But I don't give no f about them. I don't give no f like whatever it is, what it is. Like a couple of me got mad about me tweaking on kiddo or speaking on certain things, but what the hell I gonna do? Dying up saying nigga do nothing. To me, so like a lot of, and then they just be they not right. You can't even trust them. Like they be they these type of niggas they is. They in the house right now, bang. It's all six and ten of them up in the house right now. One of them in the house right now. It's a nigga. One it's only one nigga that probably got some rare down there. They in the house, the whole ha house texting like, yeah, when he come out, say, y'all rob him, we're we, we going to spend the money. But then in the house the whole time, act like they, like, like, like this, they brother. Damn. To the point, hey, we had to get the text from town. Like, Why ain't want to rob folks? They ain't they saying, I, 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 I fuck the folks, we rob him. What do I don't? Yeah. Like, but they in the house with folks right now. The whole thing in the back door. They really get that. Damn. So it's like, even with some of their deaths, they really get that. So it's like, they not to be trusted. So it's like, I don't know, but. I can't help who I know though. I know. Yeah. So freaky, I grew up with freaky. I love freaky. But even and, down there. and 051 freaky, he does, he just doesn't mess with them anymore, yeah, right? With them no, no, no. Cause he gotta he gotta be a man instead of his own. Like as an is is either what you what you finna do. Cause if you ain't finna do this to death, because they're not wrong if you're gonna be a gang to death, be gang to death. But if you ain't finna be gang to death, then any time you stand you only be a man. Mm -hmm. He had to pick and decide. You just watch these niggas snitch on you and try to act like that shit was of course ain't nobody say nothing about this. So they don't care about you. So stand on your own and be a man. Then they, I, I'm, a lot of niggas want to have had a mob. I ain't never have had a mob. Because our records, I always been alone. I admit, records running day. I'm gonna Very true. Standing with the man because I'm gonna have had a mob. We gonna get along. You just talking. We fought one nigga, fight seven more, fights, whatever. You just talk. I'm not whatever. A lot of these niggas, they, they, ain't, they can't stand on their own. Yeah. So like, kiddo. I'm not disrespecting him. I want to see him profit with his music. I think he got to just learn more and his brain kind of got a dysfunction or something because he think he's tough as hell. But you want that tough when Skull was in the county when, when, when hard was in the county that's still in your that. So then no. I'm saying like this, he tried to meet the mob as well because if it had been hella uh, outstanders over there, his ass would have been over gang now, many way crazy. Mm -hmm. But you over there by yourself, you over there calling them men wrote. <laughs> you calling them up. Being grown, you then older than them. <laughs> you talking about how they the gilly voice? No, no, no. I was gonna go to that next, but so when it comes to 051, you said a lot there. Dude. When it comes to 051, I, I f with them at one point. Yeah, and before these street got slow, before the mob got slow, before the game, like I, f I f them. Like I, I never had no. They never did. Matter of fact, one time I snacked. Yeah, big A. Matter of fact, all oh, on game. I smacked the yeah, big A, and I smacked the fuck out chop on game from old fat one young money. On game, I smacked the fuck out big A, and I smacked the fuck out chop on game. And now I get mad on camera. I don't care. Now we it. I one time we got injured from big A. Thought he was for nasty yacht. Pop them at chop, little chop. When they chop on the word on Instagram, you try to run out. Pop his ass with your song up on the grave, nigga. Right now, nigga. And I, th I just thought about that. Oh, that's why they don't like me, though, on games. Like that, though, but I was freaky, though. And then Rockhead, I never not liked the Rockhead. I always thought Rockhead was, like, just a very badass little kid. You said he was advanced for his age. Advanced as hell. He yeah. started doing extra manipulation ass yeah. snitch. That's yeah. great, boy. Yeah. But I'm from the grade, though, but shout out. Nigga, I but niggas don't like me because I stand on my own. So. And what's crazy is so 05 White Kiddo hits the ground running. He's from this notoriously hey, known hood. Hey, hey. And Goofy. You know why I'm, I'm saying yeah, Goofy? And I'm not taking nothing from him. I'm only saying that because he acting tough as hell on a computer, bro. For what? You're not even tough like this for real. Like, you doing this. Okay, I know this your image and shit, but I know certain shit. Like, nigga, that's low, man. But whatever, though. Well, I, here's little one, Charles. Well, right? well, let's get let's get to it because there's a guy by the name of Hard Body Lodi. Right, well, you know how I think Hard Body a uh, rap good as. I met Hard Body through Instagram. I, I saw somebody post his music one time. I heard this. I said, "What the fuck is this?" As a fan, because I think I'm I'm because it sounded so I'm different. A fan of music before anything, like, but I used to make niggas in this 
uh, hold a CD. I'm making your CD. Well, all the new mix songs that you never heard. All the new Gucci, man. I got future MC. You don't know who future he is yet. <laughs> is this? Smoking mirrors? What's this? I put that shit on your shit because I, I, I like good music. I heard hard riding music. I said, this nigga, wow. He's getting into the very detail about the same. So everybody rap. Chicago, everybody rap drill shit. <laughs> like the difference is that everybody in like they detail and they specifics of what separate people when they were play. They you know, double entendres, whatever the f they're using in their music to separate them from the masses. That's what I like about music. I like the sleekness. I like the all this shit. Like, I can look at, hear some music, look at a person. Oh, yeah, that's going to go or it ain't going to do nothing. Mm -hmm. Whether I see it or not, but I know because it's all about a uniqueness. I feel like Hard Body just had its own little unique style and flow. So after I heard the music, I shared it, and I reached out to him. And I, because I, I did my research, I looked him up, but like, he mirror rapping. So I looked him up, man, his ass hard. I know he's from Real I know they probably didn't be mad about me because I made the song like, do you want to dap or real today? Not until with being that black. The hand. But all right, but, but all right, pretty my boy that had that, he had, we had a clip. A long time ago with, with being there black and all that. It was, yeah. it, was, it, was, it, was, it was all uh, like like Last King, Honey K. Oh, he he's always with me though. Like on some man, I fuck with you, gang. I fuck with him too, gang. So like it was never no beautiful with like Will Terrell. So like he being there. So he been a nigga like man. Look, I appreciate you sharing my music though, but man, you just saying Will Terrell. <laughs> like what you want? You want some being funny? Shit that was going on, and I broke it down. I'm like nigga at the time. She had two and being that black. He from Will Terrell. They get one down the world thing, but shit, I ain't up talking to. To bro ass and bro ass said that, and I y'all got nothing to do with that. He on his own, so 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 so. And they, we face it. And we was cool and the thing. We talking on the phone, and I just give him advice that I can get him from being an upcoming artist, being the one for me, being an upcoming artist that always then then it made a little noise. So I try to give him a little advice that I know, like look, don't do this or do this or just keep working, keep dropping. And just to just to to pinpoint some of the things that you covered there. Some of the things that Hard Body Lodex and Taste Savage said in that song, you believe that they're real? Or are they true? I don't know the song. I just know that it's the song. Well, they song. dropped this. Uh, yeah, they dropped this song. It's annoying. It doesn't look like it's some shit. Yeah, that's, hey, that's a good song. It's called Goofy. It's called I, Goofy. I'm a freaky. I'm like, freaky, you know, the freaky man, bro. What the f word is it? I didn't say my fan here. I say, bro, it's a good song. I know you, man. They said, man, we heard it so. It is what it is. Yeah, they You're like, man, you know what that What I do. So, it is what it is. It's an interesting situation because I talked about it. I talked to Tay when he made it, and when, when Tay dropped the song, I talked to Tay. Me and oh, Tay talking. That's my boy. You talked to Tay Savage about it. Boy. Okay. So I told him like, I like, man, I was just, oh, you want to ask again? He like, nah, this is bothering me, gang. I just had to just get it off. I was like, man, stay focused. I tell him like, just stay focused. You on a different path than yeah. all of us. Really push your pace, man. Stay focused. But like, don't get me wrong. Don't force your hand. Then get wild. But stay focused, bro. Because like, I like how you coming. Like, I like how Tay Savage coming with. What everybody at? So I told him, that. Yeah. Yeah. Him that. and he's quickly clear things up. Yeah. Like you talked about, and, and I told him keep pushing hard body. Hard body has a problem with that music. Keep can rap good. Keep pushing him, gang. Yeah, show him different. You know what I know? Now them making this song back and forth, man. Kid on them started that because I keep hearing them. They just kept saying this shit. like so. Like they just want some attention. They and they want it from Lil Dirk. They want Dirk to hop on the song and say F them. That's they get that. But Dirk has. You know, hundred million dollars right now. Hundred yeah. million dollars. Oh, not f open he, any further. He's so oh. far removed from all this. I, well, I, I, heard, I heard Kanye West giving bags out like it's nothing. I heard Kanye West giving a hundred million dollars like it's nothing. Yeah, dang. So like, and that's just me. Like, shout out my cousin too, man. Uh, free man, Skrilla, man. And shout out, I shout out my cousin Skrilla, man. And 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 shout out my other cousin too, man. Booney Mo, man. I shout out both of my cousins, man. I support them. Now, did you catch any of what happened with Kodak Black? They said that he was smoking crack or something, bro. He just smoking crack, though. He just, he just, man, bro, he just living his life, bro. I think they looking too much into it. But he do kind of look a little unhealthy. But then again, though, you never, he probably wants to want a new look. You never know, like, for me, like, I think about it, bro. He, 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 like, he blessed. From any time I feel like you up in the opposition, you are blessed from the higher ups. He just trying to figure it out. Yeah, I think so. I, that's the best way to put it. Because, like, I think that he's smoking crack. Oh, I've been like he said he fell asleep off the lean at the light. Nigga, I fell asleep off the lean, nigga, hell of time driving, crashed all the time, of shit, and I don't even. So uh, it's 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 understandable, it's and it's relatable. But the headlines put made it look like he was a crackhead or something because they were like, yeah, okay, the too. They yeah, hey, man, the internet ain't bro. The internet ain't bro. You see how they they try to do Nitty. You see how they trying to do Nitty. Yeah. You see how they trying to do uh. 
they they don't we just go back to what we said earlier. If you do it bro, witty in the minute they finna try to find something about your ass. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Do you know the dude doing the interview with Nate Witty? His ass used to sell cookies back in ninety three. He had to do it. He had to work. Like, anything that to, to, to like to like diminish more, like their character, bro. That's what they doing right now. That's, yeah. Like I'm glad I got like kind of my wild shit out early on camera. <laughs> you can't really get me out wild on camera. You saw me do all this shit on camera already. Yeah. Now you see him all. My good part, not Yeah, I think yeah, I think that's the advantage of a lot of rappers. Yeah, is. We always thought it out well. Now yeah. we're in tame. Yeah, we're uh, starting off tame. So, but you're gonna get wild. Well. So trying to cancel a rapper is hard, babe, because they've already done wild I'm stuff. Cancel? Yes, correct. I'm gonna cancel me. Like mainstream society already. I need mean, your f- say that's how my way. <laughs> oh, we canceled this after saying that. I was never again yeah. playing for you to pause or cancel me, more. You talking about nigga? You know what, nigga? The nigga, the nigga, the order never went through before you canceled the. Yeah. That <laughs> was painted from the real. So I'm trying to see like, man, should we give him some money? I don't know, man. He gonna get picked new with all type of. Sh- now they, they, yeah, they selected uh, on who they let. And I was like, I ain't never make my own. Sh-. I remember some great clothes coming off his out. I don't even think that's what I'm saying. I didn't get to going too far. I think I need to just fix it. I think I need to just stay positive. Uh, I understand that we was all just fucked up in prison. Now I don't know. I, I'm talking about, I saw a nigga get so, man, I was, when I was in left, this left field, nigga, prison get so fucked up, nigga, and that one, he fucked up, he, I'm gonna go ask the cell, he wrecked his, what's up? All right, man, what's up? What you talking about? He, man, folks, you talking about, you don't got no lotion? I'm, hell no, I don't got no lotion, what's the lotion for? I'm trying to be my, no lotion. He said, you don't got no mustard, you don't got no mayonnaise, you can't eat. Oh, God. Um, nigga, you got some mustard with some mayonnaise, I'm down. Uh, I got some ketchup. I said, man, folks, I got some ketchup, and he said, man, get the ketchup. I go, flat and ketchup on the keep me going. Like, he got some that's good. Me with the ketchup. I didn't take. Like, so now if you get it, we was just in prison and niggas and me and they with ketchup. That's, that's so, down bad. Thing how in this world that we can come to an agreement and fix this shit. Well, look, hold on. Albert, homie said he had to go. What? He said, oh, with man, ketchup. Nigga, this is real life. Nigga, this can't make none of this shit. That's what I'm saying. I love the life that I live. I love some of the things I got to encounter and see because it shaped me. Mm-hmm. Now, you know, since I'm up at like a pottery class, like the that's what the world did to me. Yeah, it's Satan. I like I like that shit. Big Mike from O Block recently know. recently did an interview. You didn't you didn't see the interview? Yeah, I thought, uh, it went crazy. I don't know. Saw that do a number. It was like two hundred thousand per day. Yeah, but that's because people that's because the title. This nigga snitched on King Wild and what was this snitched on King Wild and you Wooski brother. If I was a f-ing drill fan, what you mean talking about they they got some type of uh uh. And like some some glue that like, glue them with each other. Yeah. So that, like, but I don't know them though. But like, did you watch any of the interviews? Yeah, I watch, I, I watch everything. I watch your interviews. with yeah. Random up. I watch these. You can even see. I'm. I, yeah, I think you just said it's like the new TV. Yeah. So I'm watching this. Sh- I'm smoking weed, intrigued. Even if I'm not chilling, just like see, seeing like it's, it's entertainment. I just watch it to laugh. I feel like. I ain't never know being like, but he sounded cool. Was it in, like into that sense? He sound like he was thorough. Like <laughs> he was thorough. Like he sound like he ain't. And like and and, and, and like I only would like his brother. Yeah. I like his other f-ing brother. F-ing pussy. Who? Uh, really? You know what I'm saying? I don't like it. Well, I saw what? I taste. F-ing. I can't say on camera, but oh, yeah. I saw his ass in real life. He did not get wild for real. And like, we, was this after you got shot in the head though? Yeah, not nah, before he got shot in the head. Wow. He ain't gonna get wild when he saw me. He didn't get wild. So. My thing about Big Mike was. He seems so likable. I'm like, man, this dude, I'm not supposed to like him because he's, you know. Yeah, he, yeah like, that's what I said. I said like, and then yeah, they try to make him like he's a snitch, but, but he's not like a cool little snitch. <laughs> like, you know, like, and then when he was talking about when he was in jail and Wooski he got shot in the head, how he had to tear up the, you know, he was, I was like, man, that's he was standing man, on that. That's, and you got to think about it. I know Big Mike from the video of for Fruity Frank Rod, and yeah, I think Big Mike the one that slipped Ron out the cuffs. Man, yeah. He went to Big Mike to get yeah. out the cuffs. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. He was up in there. You were like, he went with Juan with the big mic. He, yeah. big mic going help him with the cups. He was like, yeah, he got this. Yeah, yeah. Oh, phone him. That's crazy, man. So of course that's gonna do good because you got Wooski, who's a huge name in this, man. Regardless, yeah, why of- the f- is he a little name dog? Yeah, it's the computer song, man. It came at a time where everybody was like, the stories were already playing out on social media, right? Okay, so that- all the blogs were already invested, right? And like, you had this new guy that's saying. For- Everybody, how they got killed. You're like, oh, he wants a nitty. <laughs> and then you have Artie, you have King Von and all them, whatever. And then on one side, and it just, 
it was a perfect mesh of those things at the same time. Not to, I, even though Wooski, like King Von kind of blew up after the Wooski thing or whatever. I got the most funniest STL stories than anybody. I want to like, how do I? Well, one day, one day, one of y'all motherfuckers. You just gotta drop them. You was and one, I'm gonna make. I'm gonna have to make a. I'm gonna have to, we have to do some of these stories. I got the best. And I got off. the best STL stories ever. Real life facts, no fiction. shit. And I'll validate some of this shit. They not want to, but I got the best. And I never even hung on STL. I never hung on STL. I never one time went and hung on STL. And I got the best STL stories. So every time we see them, it's to be like, go. Every time we see them, let's get to. The bus. I see them a lot too. Man. Yeah. Yeah, they, they, but some if they might get took to the if they might get took to the grave, but they might pay the racks and get them out one day. But, oh, we gonna have to, we yeah, we gonna have to, we gonna have to hear those one day, man. We gonna. Have I got the best, but a lot of niggas niggas so fucking racks. And this player, so I y'all know it's the now. Now we talked about a multitude of things, shit, man. We talked to yeah, a whole bunch, man. We didn't wear, we didn't ran down it, man. And I think when I wear, it wouldn't be right unless we ended. With us talking about some of these things that's happening out here in other places as well. Okay. You know, just last question, man. You had a situation where you had a rapper who used to be affiliated with Kodak Black by the name of Jack Boy, right? Yeah. Somebody got blue down in his like front yard. Yeah. Shit. But immediately, social media was like, like, like Jack Boy. Yeah. 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 And it was yeah. like, I saw him hop off the pew, like, yeah, it's them voodoo. Yeah. And after that, you see, fuck it, uh, well, you're not hearing from him here. He always he said, wait, well, he said, if the Kodak got locked up, he said it was the voodoo or something. Then after that, he got blue down. Yeah. And then what happened after that? What after that, NBA Herm, who was a guy who was associated I with. What, I, I saw him coming up one time. I said about, I said about Wolfski. I said, this is what I said. I quit NBA Young Boy. Yeah. A long time ago, Young Boy and three called me or with Locker Films, you know, with them, right? When he know them, oh, the man, but. You said one time we was with Wooski or some of that nation. You were about to get into a good story, I could tell. I forgot. We were talking about Jack Boy and NBA Her. Oh, he yeah, 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 okay, okay, yeah, okay, okay. I said I fucked NBA Young Boy, but he and me in Chicago enough to know that Wooski not on fucking nothing. So he made that song one time, like, when I'm listening to some Wooski, it's in yeah. my head, like, hey, like, Wooski not on nothing. He ran last time I saw him, like, I don't know. So I'll tell me, man, Wooski not on like I'm, so they they try to make it seem like we can arrest a dissing me, young boy. Man, if I diss, I'm gonna diss you. I didn't diss him. Like I just said that he don't know that Wooski not really on, on nothing. I, I, I like I would have told him like shit. You all know something. You say that in a song, young boy. It went up like you all like, but so like, and I saw him comment like, yeah, he just mad because Wooski be killing their partners. So I DM her like, boy, they saying yo ass tweaking boy. You wanna comment us? Boy, well, look, Peter, this ain't nothing like that. Nigga was doing their job. I salute him. A nigga, I, nigga, free in the fold, nigga. Nigga, f nigga. So I'm just letting niggas know why they shine out. Bitch ass niggas and niggas in his name, nigga. So nigga, just do your homework on the research first. And that's all it was. Now, I ain't never really heard that Wooski wasn't about that life. You know what I'm saying? You're the first person to say that. Well, to me, though. We have to, okay. to, 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 each, to, to each his own, though. Yeah. Okay. You might see him, and you might think this is the maddest devil. Folks might be already in fuck. She like, man, that ain't nothing. You like, this is mad as fuck. I'm not man, fuck that bitch. Mm -hmm. So, like, when it comes to shit like that, like, maybe to certain people, he might be gangsters because they ain't never seen real gangster shit. So, nigga like me, who I always see gangster shit, and I see you a person, you ain't do no gangster shit for real. That's a fucking bitch. And I don't stand on how I feel until where I They think, I don't want to bring it up to your man, but they think Doug was a gangster. A lot of people think Doug was a gangster. But, I'm, but to me personally, like, well, when I saw you, you know what I'm doing that game? You know what I'm saying? If we was at Toy, it's never. Yeah. I'm not saying like randomly being aggressive. I'm saying yeah. you DM me before I saw you. When I see you, I'm going to do this to you. Not see you. You ain't do that. It's like, get your okay. bitch ass on. I feel like that about him and Wooski. Respectfully, I'm not causing this. I mean, calling them out. All, all meets. I'm just saying the different. A lot of people probably feel like Ron was real gangster. And this is right now. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. like, everybody got their own take. On what's going on? It's your perspective of how off the masses. So if a lot of people saying one thing, you just gonna say it because a lot of people are saying it. Like yeah, answers right that's now. That's true. But answers right now. This one up. Everybody just say McDonald's got the best fries. 
Whether or not you know or not, they had the best fries in your head when you go there, you know, man, now I got good fries. Cause you used to him and now I got the best fries. Mm -hmm. Now you probably never with the armies. Everybody always say Army's nasty. Mm -hmm. People always say Army's nasty. To the point that like I saw on Simpsons one time, like, we're gonna hear Arby's. I don't know what the they said. And like, cause Arby's not good. I actually went to Arby's. Now I'm an Arby fan. <laughs> They got the best cheese sticks at any restaurant I didn't they do. to. They do. I'm glad you said that. And chicken tenders are fresh as fuck. Yeah. They fries as good as fuck. They got the best strawberry lemonade and peach lemonade yeah. I didn't have. And they just had some shit off the Good Burger that was just a fucking bomb. That was delicious. I had oh, that's a, And, and that was a Wagyu beef burger. With the Kriegel fries. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, yeah. If I were to just listen to that, then I wouldn't see the real. So mm -hmm. I was like, I don't just listen to what nigga tell me. So like, what? If I did go to Arby's, and they food tasted like shit. Nah, but I see why they said that. Mm, mm. You know what I'm Yeah, no, I get So it. for me personally, when it comes to Wolski, man, uh, Martin, when you fought him and Tommy Herms, <laughs> he was woofing in my DM. So one time when I saw him, he tried to like, nah, be him. And so I just ran like, why? I'm thinking I'm just gonna have to duck out of shots or something. Yeah. That's, I'm not saying, I'm just saying. Maybe so that's why I feel like I just was in his civilian mode. Yeah, like, man, I don't got time to be doing some drill, shit, some drill, shit, and this some mode. But I'm right there, like, nigga, I thought he was doing some gangster. Shit. I don't know. Yeah, and the same thing with Carter. I saw Carter, like, man, I thought you said you kill me on break, man. Two in. I, I got three. Yeah. <laughs> but no, respect him though. That's old though. 2024 Regal Records have no beef. I have no animosity. I want to see everybody prosper. I want to see everybody win. I want to sell my records, ring gate clothes, and put out my music, bro. I put out. Four tapes this shit. Well, it's gonna be five. I'm putting out nothing for the year over with. With will I be the best? Well, the raw shit you ever fucking heard. That's the name of it. But this year, you know, that's coming up. I want to drop hella music. I want to be in movies. I was in the movie this year. Type of shit. I want to be in hella movies. I want to do the clothes. I'm gonna actually take time and do the clothes for real. And like just from faith in my music, but I don't feel like I reached my. I haven't reached my. Your peak. My peak with the music because yeah. like I'm still getting better every time. Like damn this. Raw, so like I want to get the best. I want to can be number one in the world, in the country, on everything, and just take care of my family. And, and I right. and I see you stay working, man. Because the last time that we talked, you showed me all that music that you had ready to go, man. I was, and you know what you did? Mm -hmm. You went and dropped all that music, man. Mm -hmm. So I was like, man, this is impressive. And to see you actually doing yeah, numbers out there. We were just dropping about a 20, 20 song, 20 song, 20 song down there. It's dope, man. Dope, dope, man. So what I want to do is. I know you kind of just gave what you feel like you're going to be doing coming up. And you kind of already told us what, what you have coming your way. But tell us a little bit more about what you can expect from next year. Going into a new year, going to Christmas holiday. Elevation, man. Progression, man. Just me as a man. Like, I like to entertain y'all. I'm an entertainer. Never get a fucked up. I'm not a comedian. Flash said, I should be a comedian. He like, bro, you make me fucking laugh. I don't know anybody ever make me laugh. You should be a comedian. I said, bro, but I'm not the type that can just come like, all right, I can't even, it's a stage. The y'all can come watch me. I gotta go into a and like, be playing to make y'all laugh. It don't go like that. Now, if y'all just happen to watch me, I can make y'all laugh. That makes yeah. sense. But I don't know. It makes perfect sense. I can't, I'm not, I can't, I don't know how to prepare to be funny. Like, I'm not being funny. I'm just speaking what's on my mind at the time. Yeah. It says. So, I don't know, maybe I, I give it a shot and I'm down. Like, give me a shot of costume. You go for one stage. Tell if I can make you laugh. If I can't do my own, but. Uh, the music though, bro, like this is my best, this is my best work and my best time and my best, uh, okay. This is gonna go deep, but not real deep, just a little deep. Though. My nail just broke, that's why I'm over there. Like, what are you doing? What are you waiting? Because they been coming in, they got songs in, fishing the whole time. <laughs> that's all <okay>. cocaine. <laughs> oh, 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 yeah, my nail broke. <laughs> But I'm over here like trying to break it off without it hurting my fingers because it's attached to some shit. Look at this though. This look at this one. But anyway though, I so my man's lows hierarchy chart of needs. So you know what that is? No, you explain it. Okay, so man's lows hierarchy hierarchy chart of needs. Look it up on Google. Type me on Google man's lows hierarchy chart of needs. So what it do? It just show you what you need as a man in this world to reach your highest self. It'll like say like, like it's, it's, it's a chart. It start off from the bottom to the top. Uh, you see it? Yep, Maslow's pyramid. Yes. Now you see, and I click it. Now you see what they're saying. Like you see, like okay, this is showing you as a person what you need to to reach your fullest potential. 
in oneself. Now, you, you, do you see it? Yeah, I do. You see I from, do. From from the bottom, from 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 the base. Yeah, from the base, they have psych- psychological safety, love and belonging, esteem, and self actualization. Okay, and, then, and that's the base, right? Yeah. And then go to what? All right, and those have, each have their own sections. So, self actualization has morality, creativity, spontaneity, problem solving, lack of prejudice, and acceptance of facts. And then everything I esteem has its own self-esteem, confidence, achievement, and love and belonging have friendship, family, uh, intimacy, and safety has security, body, um, employment, and psychological has breathing, food, water, sleep, and all that. You know what I mean? Okay, so now that's the chart, right? Now you looking at it, I don't know what chart, you probably looking at the one that's breaking everything down. Yeah. Because they gonna look this up when, when, God, when, when they watch the interview, like, what the f*** are you talking about? Okay. So you see how I go up and saying like, all right, at the base you might need this. Um, I ain't, I might need this so you're gonna get to the next part. All right, so basically it's a chart, mm-hmm. and the chart it'll tell you like, for instance, safety, uh, being loved, having a roof on your head, taking care of yourself, far as your um, get like it's showing like for you to be able to reach your biggest self, creative wise, a lot of these you gotta get checked off. Far as you gotta have friends, you gotta have. It's just regular communication with people. You got to have relationships with people. You got to f- be healthy. You got to be mother f- like handling your business. You got all these things you got to handle before you're even able to get to the top. And at the top, as you're able to say, is to see that you reach like your most creative process. So you even comfortable enough to reach your f- people to like. You gotta try to at least get this chart together. So like that chart, I've been getting together. Like that one right there. Yeah, yeah, I really, I got it. I really got it together. So it's like that's why I'm so creative right now with this music. It's coming unlimited like this because of like I'm really just creative right now because I handle all my business as a man. Now I'm just just securing the bag and stacking this shit up for my family so they can have so they can have some wealth. Shit, my and, and fourteen. And you can never say I can never say that you don't handle your business because you for real are your business. You wanted to. This one thing before we get out of here that I noticed about some rappers, man. Yeah. They don't know how to really be businessmen. Like, they don't know how to look for two or three steps, for two or three paydays. They look at the right now and what yeah. they can hit a lick off. A lot of people like that. Yeah. That's- and and that's destructive to their to their business and they don't realize it. That's but- why they rob the plug. A lot of, so a lot of people like to rob the plug because you see it right now in front of you, right? Yeah. Of working with you and we really can't obtain what you think you want to hear. And you'll get more money over yeah, time, man. A better relationship and we make <laughs> way more money. Yes. Right? So you just took 10 pounds and you just thought you did something. <laughs> now what you gonna do when 10 pounds gone? Facts. And now you can't trust the plug. You can't trust. I done put the f- black to this show ass. Now nobody f- wants you. Now you gotta do the most thing. It's and now you gotta do all this ring on the road. These f- all because you tried to, because you couldn't see the bigger picture. Yeah. A lot of niggas don't see the bigger picture. Like if you can't get paid right now, we don't want to do it. When vice versa, when I'm more like a, I, right, so we can't get paid right now. But we are, can we get paid? And like so, like I, right, so it's a date. And we're going to get paid down the line in the future. If we handle the business right, I admit, well, if it makes sense, I'm with it. Vice versa, just shutting it down. Yeah. What am I doing? Because, yeah. like, well, I might make more money in two years from now from doing this than I am vice versa. Or even if I took the money right now from this, then they would have made more money in two years down the line. I still would have lost. So it's, right. it's really like, you got to, like. And I, I noticed, man, outside of this, man, you be on your business. Like, you really be on it. So, yeah. and I don't know if that's because that's what your uncle taught you or not, but man, you be on it, man. I just. Uh, they going to say I'm glad. Again, to, but it's honest. It's not even that. And I, I talk to different it's artists. Like, a, I, one thing you can, one thing you can never say about me as a man is I ever did no bad business. Yeah. I uh, never do, never did no bad business. If some bad business got done with the dealers and me, because somebody else, the middleman is. Yeah. But it was never with me directly because I'm hell no nah, like fuck that. Hell and I nah. think that's why in like the community you got a really good reputation and stuff like that. Yeah, because I ain't right. trying to beat them out. I'm trying to make it make sense for everybody. Like fuck it, man, let's make it make sense. Mm-hmm. We all trying to get somewhere. And like every and, like one hand watch the other, both hands watch the face. I learned that from my homie named Face. So like it's no, no, I like that. 
Well, Rico Franklin, man, I didn't had you here for a long time. I thought a lot, like really long time. Yeah, that's Christmas time. And you know what I'm saying? That's one of the best Christmas. I want you to give your final shout out for Christmas or whatever you want to do, or for the new year going in. Oh, uh, yeah, man, reckless, man. Look, man, shout out, I right, shout out my homeboy, uh, Wonder Trump, man, because he got mad. He said, "Man, you doing interview? Don't you shut me out, nigga." I said, bro, I ain't know what you want to get shout out. I thought you were doing low-key gangster <laughs> Now I'm rapping now. So shout out Wonder Trump, man. Go follow Wonder Trump, man. Get into him with this shit, man. Go and go follow the big chaser, man. 6 a man. That's my shorty, man. Go follow him too, man. Uh, my cousin, Free Brand Skrilla, man. I love him, man. Go support him. My other cousin rapping now. His ass sounded dark. OTF Boomo. You go follow him. He, he getting his music shit going. Okay, uh, my cousin Ewald said he not doing no more drill rap. He said he only doing African uh Vernon Boy music. What's that called? F I'm got Afro beats. Afro beats. Yeah. So shout out Ewald with his whole new wave of Afro beats, man. Free all the niggas that's locked up, man. Free freaky, free glob, free stain, free killing chaos, free anybody that support me and love me. Shout out anybody that support me and love me. It's Christmas time. I'm three. I'm off parole. I'm home with my kids. I got a fat ass crib. I got a fat ass town to, to smoke. I'm fun to sit back and run out how late my kids out they want and just thank God that I'm free. Grand folks and drink that they be high sale and my life I'm finna get unblocked tomorrow. So I'm gonna live two doing child. Good time about back on the game. Good time about following on Twitch. Uh, and that, well, I appreciate you coming out once again, Rico Regulus. Uh, you always be putting it down, man. I I rep with you and we out. <laughs>